So you sang some opera this weekend. I did. I did. Deep down in the subways of Los Angeles. It was scary, Danny. I've got acoustics down there, though. They're all the great acoustics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was fun, man. I have. I think I might be a talented uh, opera singer. It's there. It's a. Ta- it's in me. Innate. Innately in me. For me, maybe because I'm Italian. Give me the G major scale. <laughs> wish I. Even, I wish I knew what that was, but I will improvise what I think. <clears throat> Me, 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 me. I think that was an A. Austin's clapping, so it doesn't matter. Leo. That's right. Being an opera guy, you're right. Being an opera guy, it's one of those things. It's one of those things that can get you some chicks. There was a guy back in the the, the deep times. He was castrated. They, They chopped his nuts off, so his voice was like, ah! late into his life and that guy i guess got insane pussy look him up austin and he couldn't the castrated use opera wonder i think he still had a cock just no nuts oh and chicks loved him really chicks loved him dude he could still f- bang he was the first trans uh, yeah yeah you could say he was the first trans dino God. what do you think if i told you unlimited chicks but you lose the gonads you win hell no you I still get sexual sensation I think you get, Austin's got it pulled up. I think you do, Leo. I would assume so. I think it might be a little less heightened because he wouldn't have testosterone as much. I don't, I'm not, I don't know about the shit. Okay, here we go. For a solid portion of musical history, castrato singers or castrati oh had a God. prominent role in operas, churches, and courts across Europe. But why were young boys forced to undergo undergo the gruesome operation? And how did it affect their voices? Wow, dude, the oh. same issues. History is cyclical. Danny, would me and you, as just a couple of, you know, a couple of jokesters, would we have just been in the king's ear to get Dino's, you know, balls castrated? Be like, listen, King Griffin the Third. <laughs> have you heard this boy sing? It's amazing. It sounds like a little, you know, the little angel that's on the top of all the churches, and his little his little penis hangs out, and he's got a horn. Mm-hmm. That's his voice. We, I, I say you keep. We keep it like that forever, King, King, King Griffin the Third. Think about it. Eighty years hence, you can be entertaining Habsburg princesses that are thirteen years old. Ah, you're right. And you want a boy who can get them wet with his vocal cords? Yeah, absolutely. He's good for nothing anyway. Where's yeah. that Dino character? Sing yeah, us a couple notes, Dino, right now. Let him. Let King Griffin the Third hear. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Dino can sing. Can he? Were you? I, because a lot of people that uh, fancy the church often have to sing at church. Have you ever sang at church? Sing Amazing Grace right now. Hallelujah. That's not church music. That's it's like not? Jeff Buckley, right? I heard or that fucking, in a fucking. No. I heard a hallelujah. A hallelujah is definitely sang. At well, you're church. right. It's got some biblical lyrics. It's about like David and I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I thought it was a, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Dino, listen to me. You're a piece of shit. That's how I'm going to transition out of it. (laughs) What I am going to say, though, is isn't it interesting that they used to castrate children just like they're doing now? Yeah. They were doing gender reassignment, but the product was more admirable because nowadays if you chop your son's penis off, he just makes TikToks. I don't get it. And it's also, yeah, like, why do why do they have to be, I don't know, so antagonistic and. I don't know. Well, I was wondering why George Soros was like such a big supporter and ally of the transgenders, but maybe he's really just a big fan of opera. That could be it. That's honestly probably what it is. I mean, I'm sure he's into history. I'm sure he knows about this. He probably has children from Thailand that's singing to him. I think so, man. Right? I think everybody's saying that it's just the medical institution trying to stuff their own pockets because transgender surgeries are really, really lucrative. Shut up, okay? Shut up. It's Kid, art. It's it's fucking. This is about George Soros getting kids to sing better. Right. I mean, can you imagine a like a like maybe like a what do you call like a like a glee club? Oh, of, yeah. of children that are cast like just castrated kids, just all hitting that note. Danny? Oh my god, dude! It's about, it's probably better than almost anything any other entertainment there is. Oh my god, it's uh, the. I'm surprised there isn't an uptick in transgender surgeries in the Asian community. Because they still know the value of classical music. They sure do. And the Italian community is going to be following suit. You know it. Arrivederci. Too deep. See? You fucking Julio. 
Yoshi. Julio should have chopped your wop dick off. So I cared about my cock. You know what I mean? I think Julio was, uh, you know, he was trying to guide it from a young, from from when I was young. You yeah, know? We know that. It's uncircumcised We know that, for that but, reason. you know, he, you could have been richer if you were a castrato. I think they still have that word. I think that word still describes something. <clears throat> One time when I was, I struck out in Little League, which was a very sad day for me. I was hard on myself. And Julio pointed out a girl's ass that was crossing the street and said, instead of being sad and crying, why don't you look at that girl's ass? Uh-huh. And then like you at 11 were like, dad, I think it's a little inappropriate for you to point out a 10 year old's booty. <laughs> How old was the girl? The girl was probably in her twenties. It was a I doubt that dude. you're no, protecting I mean, your father. I was 11. As Italian I was too. 11. She looked way older to me. You know what I mean? But which which means she was probably in high school. She was wearing some Daisy Dukes, Danny boy. And oh boy, did that booty jiggle. Uh huh. What are nice. Daisy Dukes? It's uh, those uh, jean shorts that kind of ride up and the cheeks hang out. I think you're falsely remembering this. No, I, that's right. I think no, wherever. No, 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 no that. Yeah. But I think he's false remembering. What do you like think? The, my, what, what, what was it like? I just, Tell I me. highly doubt mm -hmm. Jessica Simpson out of the Dukes <laughs> of Hazards just walked by after you had the worst game of your young life. I highly you doubt. Park a street light, you know? Yeah, I just, I don't see it. I think you're idealizing this. I think this is a product of your weird, I'm going to say it, weird sexual relationship with your father. <laughs> <laughs> because he because he is a mentor of sorts. Yes, because mm. he was your pussy mentor mm. and you feel like you were never enough for your dad to truly love you. True. So oh, I'm I, a diamond at least. I, I think, yeah. yeah, I think anything involving women, baseball and your father is a little bit distorted in your head. <laughs> so what was it? What was the actual situation? Who was the woman coming across? Who's I think probably it was a six. Being generous. A six? You know, maybe my mind is a little skewed here because I grew up in Sacramento. You're maybe And I right, played baseball yeah. in Fair Oaks. And the you chicks that hung around the park I played T-ball at were disgusting. So maybe that's what I'm picturing. I, I played at Toluca Lake, which was the most elite uh, kind of high, you know, uh, high, like it was all high society, like uh, people from like fucking uh, the studios and stuff. So there were probably some hot, there were some hot moms. Mm -hmm. Might have been a hot mom. Um but yeah, I mean, what what is your? Uh, um, but yeah, you know, I've I've remember this one thing though. It could have been a six though. I was going to say this because Julio does have that rule that if he knows the man isn't gay, if he goes after like ugly chicks, that's his thing. If mm. you bang ugly chicks, you're not gay, and that's don't you agree with that? Kind of, I totally agree with that. Uh. If a guy is going after ugly chicks, mm -hmm. then he, a gay guy would want a beard who's pretty. That's the perfect cover for. Him not being gay. And also gay guys are attracted to just like pretty things anyway. They like mm -hmm. like that's why a lot of gay men are in women's shoes. Yep. Like they sell they women's are pretty purses. You they, know? They, they 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 sell purses. Yeah, and they look nice. Like I when I bought my ex-girlfriend's wallet from Versace, it was a fucking dude that sold me it. Of course. But if you're somebody like Leo, just a just a reformed caveman <laughs> who's stuffing his uncut dick. <laughs> into overweight hairdressers mouths after hours that my friends is not a cover that's an addiction <laughs> and that proves he's straight not definitively i've heard some rumors about his gay side i've too. heard i have hooked up with an overweight hairdresser how'd you know that everybody's hooked up with an overweight it hairdresser. was it was in sherman oaks and yeah she was a latina woman uh-huh and uh yeah she cut my hair a long time ago and then we went into the back room where she was shampooing it uh-huh sure enough my little Fucking my wee wee came out, Danny. Boy. Your little wee wee? Mm -hmm. I didn't say little. It's how old were you when you pulled out your wee wee? Uh, I was probably like twenty four when that went into that one. You pulled your wee wee out on a hairdresser? You bet I did. <laughs> oh damn! You made dude. out and then pulled it out. You jerked me off. Yeah, did you pull out the shears. Pubes? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Did she have to trim your fucking wop pubic hair? Did you, you guys, I am not that hairy. <laughs> it's the truth. But like everything below right here is not that hairy. That's the truth. I mean, I do fucking have. You know, I I do upkeep my pubic hair don't you yeah you do yeah. i'm you're, you I'm, really do actually I'm, I'm clean shaved what do you mean i you you're really pretty. do i mean you you know you completely shave it off i don't agree with that why I mean, don't you, you agree with that I is that was, feminine is well, that close to being trans am i, I a castrato read, no, i read a great article though, in yeah. in maxim magazine you remember maxim in its heyday oh yeah it was probably Hot your chicks? favorite book it was probably your favorite magazine too right in its heyday no but uh, why not it because great in articles. its heyday i wasn't old enough to buy maxim it's like my dad wouldn't be like, oh, son, you d did really well on that algebra test this weekend in sixth grade. Have at it. Here's Playboy, Hustler. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No. Vita Guerra was like the first like 
big booty Latina that really made it to the mainstream, Dino. You know what I mean? You would have been jerking off to her if you were my age. But uh, so Maxim Magazine had this article about how if you shave it completely off, it it looks sort of infantile and that you shouldn't do it. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, bet, I agree. I bet an accredited scientist or doctor wrote that article. I've heard. Who do you think it was? Real? It, it was a guy named like his nickname. His stage name was David Spew, and he had a sideways famous stars and straps hat on when he wrote that. <laughs> Listen, like bitches think you're a fucking little boy if you shave your pubes. You gotta let it rock out like I do. Woo! Dude, I got a Lincoln Park logo shaved into my pubic hair. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's David Spew's take. And you read that and you were like, this is the gospel. Yes. I don't know, forever I remember it now. But now, I mean, what you, I think the, the, let's talk about what your technique is to shave your pubes yeah. and your balls. Because, you know, the young men listening to this pod, nobody knows what's going on. Listen, young men, number one, don't shave against the grain on the bottom of the bat. Yep. Everybody, because it, it inverts, okay? It's like the polarity of the earth every billion years, it shifts. What happens is you shave down, down, down on the patch above the cock. But then when you lift up the bat and you're on the underside, you can't go down again. No. You got to go up oh. now. Mm -hmm. On the bottom of the cock, you go up. Okay? You go down on women. You go up on cock. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Otherwise, you can pinch yourself. Mm -hmm. Number two, the asshole, you're going to need to enlist the help of a mirror. That's just how it works. I don't make the rules. I mean, I don't really. That's why you have a, sh a hairy. Stop! I have a hairy. I might have a hairy taint. asshole. Yeah, I'm you know, sure I, you do. You know, the thing is, though, I don't. It, I don't go out of my house and go. You know what? I might. You might. You are looking for a random ass eating moment. You know, you're looking for a woman that might just be like, "I'll fucking eat your ass right now," and you go right now, baby. Yeah, you know, I and might you go, take her into a Starbucks bathroom. And, I might go into for. the Latino areas of the city, and I might <laughs> hang out around Starbucks. Yeah, I might, Leo. The ones that have the codes on the door, so I know nobody can get in on me. Oh my I might God. hang around there in a trench coat and be like, "Hey, baby." You like shaved asshole? Oh my God! I don't want to put that tongue to use oh my the most vile thing i've ever done is i let it, it was it was one of my buddies it was an acquaintance yeah it, it was his mother <laughs> no his mother ate my ass dude it's what? the most fucked up thing I've give ever me the done. rundown oh god he was in a he was in my theater class and you know we had a little play together and he, you know our the director decided because he was his house was in the middle of all of our like it was basically centralized for our commutes we would go over there and rehearse, so, you know. She was only 42. She had had him when she was, like, 19. Um, and she was pretty hot. So, one thing, you know. It community was like, college? It was community college, yeah. So, I went over there, like, maybe, like, five times. And this happened the fifth time. So, it was the last time we were doing rehearsal there. So, I knew, like, she had, a, like, everybody there was like, do you know fucking bang his, his mom why she was giving you vibes she'd bring out a tray of cookies and be like all right here's one for you todd <laughs> one for you steven oh leandro you have an enchanting smell about you is that gucci cologne yes basically oh, it would be God. like like she would uh she'd make comments you know i was oh, your um, rump is looking good <laughs> in that in that leotard today leo boy things of that nature uh -huh. yes yes and uh you can so, tell she would say, you know, you're hot, whatever, oh, you, you know, but she didn't want to really kind of open up uh, because he wasn't, um, you know, because he was there. And he would actually call her out like, Mom, stop, it, stop fucking hitting on Leo. What? All I said is that his cock looked nice through his <laughs> leggings. <laughs> so then fucking, dude, I don't know, man. It was a wild thing that happened. But then, yeah, one day he, it was just me and him. Uh -huh. Like we, I was just hanging out. It was the last day, so I was just like trying to see if I could uh -huh. get a situation. And he goes, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, mom." Oh no! You go, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna leave shortly after. I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick." So he fucking were you planning in your head? Were you scheming? I was. I just was thinking, I'll make out with her. It'll be you a good were story. scheming. It's fucked up, dude. I, I really traitor. I know, dude. I'm a piece of shit. Davy Johnson was a good classmate and friend. It's almost like <laughs> Davy Johnson. It's almost like. He did look up to me, that kid. It's kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, so I, did his mom, I guess. <laughs> Unless you lick yeah, your ass from the top. But no, it was weird, bro. It was like she was just like a professional, man. She fucking was blowing me, went to the balls, Wait, went wait, to you the skipped ass. some shit. So, yeah, you so fucking, then, are you actually taking a shit at his house? No. So I go, yeah, I'm going to use the bathroom and I'll be out of here. And then, and then uh, so he goes like right away to the gym. 
And then I come out of the bathroom and I'm like, so, hey. Uh, <laughs> so you didn't take a shit in there. Didn't take Because that's one. relevant. You know, I didn't do it. To the rest of the story. I didn't even need to use the restroom. If you yeah, took yeah. a shit, that would be amazing. Okay, so I was in I was in his house. He goes, he's like in his room. And then he goes, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm just going to use the restroom. Be out of here real quick. Didn't even go in the bathroom. So talking to her, she offers me wine. I go, absolutely. How old are you? I'm 24. Okay. In community college? Yeah, old that was community after, college that was Andrew. after, I went to community college after, Val, after, um, uh, I, I finished my bachelor's to take theater classes. That's how uh, my, the beginning of, of this, I wanted more attention and more pussy. Sure. So okay. I said, go back to college. That's what I tell the kids. That's yeah. what I tell all, everybody go back to junior college after college. It's the best time. You thought it would be like Juliet from a rendition of Shakespeare. Instead, it's Davy Johnson's mom. <laughs> Continue, though. You start drinking wine. So I start drinking wine, and then she kind of just, we made out, and then I just pulled my cock out, you know, know. Was old rude. style. What do you mean? Italian style? <laughs> hey, lady. She was grabbing it through the pants, uh -huh. unzipped it, and then she just went to town, dude. Started sucking? She started sucking, and then she just ate my ass. Yeah, dude. but, I mean, so you're in the kitchen when you're drinking wine. Uh -huh. How do you get to the living room? She, it was in the living room. It was really, it was an apartment, so the kitchen and the living room were in the same space almost. Okay, so they so. were poor. David Johnson. They were not. No, it was a nice apartment. Okay, so she she starts sucking your dick, then does she lift the legs up, or do you, she lifted you filthy up. character, do <laughs> you lift up the legs to initiate? Do you dead bug? Uh, She lifted the legs, dude. She lifted it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was wild, dude. She and shoulder pressed those fucking calves ears. Yeah. <laughs> they were big, dude. Now I was helping her with some, some <laughs> core strength. But uh, dude, was it was it wild? I don't think I've ever told anyone that story either because it was so vile. Well, Davey, if you're a fan, I'm sorry. Also, I want to know this. Had you I assume you hadn't paid any extra care to your ass hygiene mm -mm. that morning. Mm -mm. I hadn't taken a shit after I took my morning shit, showered and everything, and then I hadn't done anything else, and it was like three p.m. So okay, and you wake up horrific. at that time, you fucking filthy Greek ba or Italian bastard. I don't know why I called you Greek. Hey, Greek. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It is just a right bunch of pedophiles prancing around in togas. So listen, <laughs> you fucking, you, fucking you wake up usually. The whole joke was going to be that you woke up late because you were a lazy Italian bastard. <laughs> so that wasn't that long of a stretch. But you probably woke up at like eight eight a.m. Yeah, not it, a little later, probably. Like little, nine, okay. 10. All right. Yeah. So you were a piece of shit. Mm. And so at that point, you probably have the regular musk. The the asshole. It can't couldn't have been nice. I'm a big dude. I got thighs galore. My my butt cheeks are pretty big. I got yeah. I got yeah. So it wasn't like it was. It probably wasn't smelling great. Yeah, but it was probably hopefully a natural musk. The natural musk, it's provided not. you aren't a heavy drinker or you don't have a diet of Takis. I'm looking at you, Dino. The natural musk is not the worst thing in the world, but the asshole, it's, um, I feel like if you're going to get your ass eaten, it's probably wise to take a washcloth and get in there with some soap and water to get any hard to reach places. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there might be a couple flakes that make their way out. And if that tongue picks up some flakes, I mean, this old bitch didn't care. One way ticket to E. coli. Dude. One yeah, way ticket fuck. to E. coliville. Wow. And nobody likes it at E. coli. I guess it's, it's I've, never, I've never gotten it, but I guess it's like, dude, you're throwing up just nonstop. Woohoo. Oh, wow. shit. Jacob and Saltine are. Yeah, Chase. Oh, Chase and is here too. Saltine. You better beer me up, Saltine. Oh, you guys. Guys look like the shadiest gang dude, of assholes. Look at you guys, hey, it's, I, dude. Fucking, and we got a the OnlyFans chick. She's your age, dude. She might like you, dude. And he I like a, he, any girls, uh, porn stars in his age group is are his specialty. But we'll see. She, I know she did have sex with Dread last week. So <laughs> yeah, bro, it was brutal. We got a video. You'll see it, bro. It's no, fucked. That's so brutal. We'll let her show I'm the video. I'm good, team. Appreciate you though, bro. Uh, we need the. You gotta. You got it. You know, so these guys are getting beer. I'll, I'll, you guys rolled in here like a gang of just degenerate community college fucks. Yeah, but I, I but it. I gotta respect it because I know that Couch gets laid. Like yeah. you gotta respect Chase, it. Hey, Chase gets laid too, man. Chase, I gotta, he, I've seen it. I slandered Chase once recently. I said he wanted to suck my dick, <laughs> and I guess that wasn't entirely true. Well, he kind of <laughs> said he did kind of mention it. You want to open this for me? You want to open it for me? Can you guys get on microphone? Why you? Yeah, I mean, sit on the couch. Bobby. I appreciate the respect, but you guys are welcome to and sit down. And the chick down. should be coming shortly. She's supposed. She had the same similar call time as you. Yeah. See, you know how to do it. I don't know how to do the lighter thing. I kind of, I cut myself with it. All right, you guys look so couch. You look modelo time. You look, hey, that's dope, dude. That, that's for our fan base, bro. That's it's modelo time, fool. You, okay, so couch looks intelligently disheveled. Is how I'm gonna put it. 
he he's dressed like he doesn't give a fuck and he's letting himself go, mm-hmm. but you can tell there's design to it. Uh, yeah, the, exactly. The, the end goal is still pussy. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's right. a good way to put it. Well, yeah, I knew the porn star was gonna be on, so I had to at least throw a little a yeah. good mix of like not giving a fuck, but also like hey, looking decent. Just yeah. In case. Got a ring going, yeah, you know? You know yeah. how he does it. Hey, can we get Couch on that, Mike? Saltines, we're, we're going to have you switch for right now. I'm sorry. A couch's Mike's coming through weird, and he's the one I want to primarily address because I'm not convinced that you two have a way with ladies yet. <laughs> Saltine's got a fucking hog for the ladies. He's got a hog, but he couldn't get it hard in front of Real Sky Breeze. Should we so mess what the fuck are you doing, bro? Should he, should he do his fucking radio voice for as long as he can when uh, <laughs> when the chick gets here? Like, she thinks he just talks like that? Yeah, he does have a great voice. <laughs> Saltine, you got a lot going for you, and you fucking squander it working for Postmates. You are you work, a, not anymore? What, what do you, you do? You, now you grab know. your mic. See, he's too cool God for everything. damn it, dude. Okay, right into it like the front of it. Hello. No, no, the front. The front. Oh, yeah, the there front lady. Yeah. You do. Ooh, God, that's nice. You could, if if you put in any uh, effort, you could get some voiceover work. You fuck. Yeah. Yo, I've never fucked a girl with doing the voice, but I want to. You know, like, oh yeah, girl, <laughs> let me fuck that tight pussy. Oh, I'm about to dive in. It's so wet. Okay. Like, I'm, shit like what, that, me, you know? When? What? <laughs> I would love. I've never tried it, but you know, Dude, when, girls, Holly Day, when Holiday when Holiday walks in and sits on the couch, yeah. you have to go. I want to fuck your tight pussy. Uh, right when she's uh, sitting next to you, should. like that. Dude, you so- he sounds like Adam Carolla's guy Dawson. It's like, amazing. You yeah. could have a job somewhere, but you're driving fucking blacked out, spoiled not anymore, kids. Man, I They're work fucking at the wing crypto stop. arena, man. Oh, oh really? my god, that's a that's a not yeah. even a lateral move. You went down. <laughs> nah, man. You work at crypto as a security down. guard. What happened no, to your not car, Seth? Uh, oh my god. Uh, you know your boy don't have the car right now, but uh, he got his car repoed while he was yeah. in it sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping. But I, I was. I was chilling. Right. How did just that happen? There. He was and, stoned uh, out of his mind, sleeping no, up in Santa Barbara. This, this guy likes to make up like small details it's, about stories. It's he, so he's true. the ultimate gaslighter. You know this guy. Uh, um, okay. So what happened? So basically, I was just chilling what? there, waiting for an order. Um, and the order wasn't ready yet. So they were like, "Oh yeah, it'll be ready in ten minutes. Go to my car, chill." Um, and as I'm chilling there, a guy pulls up, you know, takes my shit, you know? No, I you mean, were asleep. They, you were napping. No, you told sleeping. us you were napping. No, I was Wait, well, napping. I mean, to his credit, Jacob, uh, him telling us that he was waiting for a wing stop order isn't any more glamorous <laughs> yeah, than no, fucking... It's, it's not, not any, like he was better. like, oh, fucking, uh, like, uh... I was banging a chicken yeah, there. Yeah, or it's like, fucking, better, uh, but... it's not like, oh, you do a Prince Harry's fucking yeah. chick, you know how they moved to Montecito? Yeah, I was, like, outside in the garden waiting for her to come out and yeah, suck my dick. Yeah. We got, he wasn't <laughs> lying about something impressive there. No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not true. impressive. If but... Megan Margle sucked your dick, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who else lives in Montecito who's hot? All I can think uh, about was Ellen DeGeneres. Oprah Winfrey uh, and wife? Spielberg. Yeah. DeGeneres' like, wife. That's and she's hot. Yeah, like, she's if she if he hot, was yeah. lying, he would have been like, yeah, Ellen DeGeneres' fucking pussy thing was uh, her and I were meeting up at a bar and I was like trying to like lay low for a little bit until Ellen left. Saltine, though, you left out a lot. What I want to know is did like dog the bounty hunter pull up in a Hummer <laughs> nah, and fucking man. take the car from um, you? How did they find you on the move? I don't know, man. Uh, they hadn't been able to find the car for a long time. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I was kind of like far behind a lot, dude. Uh, How far behind? Like four months. So okay. That, that doesn't um, seem that crazy. I like, mean, yeah. Well, let what me say this. So they the had spot. a really shitty Leo, it's, it's a lot more crazy when you consider that not only was it his primary means of making money, it was also his domicile. Right. He didn't think to pay the thing he fucking no, works and lives out of. I didn't think to pay. <laughs> I just know, uh, dude. A, a lot of like. Uh, <laughs> you lived in your car, yes? Not really. But like, yeah. Yeah. Salty, Jacob did. Uh, we, Salty, we the, Jacob house. told me that. Salty, we the last time you were on this pod, you were talking about how you made 100K. You were making 100K. No, I. I could, you did. You bragged about it. I, yeah. I you, did, you wanted I to take before, out Real Sky right? Bree, dude. But the past year, right? I was not making that much, right? The year before, I made that much, but I also had to spend almost like more than half of it in just living situation because before I met them, I didn't have a lease anywhere. So I was paying up the ass in terms of rent because I was using Airbnb, right? So when I was making a lot of money, 
I could have been able to save it if I had a place where I was paying cheaper Wait, rent. You so, were you were buying Airbnbs every night? No, not every night, every month, man. Yeah, he um, was paying like five k a month. Four, in range, four, so geez, four to five k. Um, oh, you are a hard. No, <laughs> man, I, I could not get a lease anywhere, bro. Should have been a motel, option. bro. You I go to motel. Money, you could have like, fan Jerry to dude hitching post motel. Yeah, motel's the way to go, bro. Yeah, I mean, if you're really um, broke, or just like anything. I don't know. Did. Yeah, five grand a month. Five grand a month is a penthouse at the nice. Is building like downtown. Facebook marketplace, it was like a two like bedroom for rent. In, it was a two bedroom in Marina Del Rey. Yeah, exactly. So. What did you need two bedroom? Well, I guess one for his cock, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I had, I had my, my homie from Georgia was actually out here, so. Um, I bet he's yeah. a savory character. No, he's cool, actually. Um, What's imagine name? how much he must suck. His, his homie from Georgia. No, nah, my my bro from Georgia, must be he, terrible, bro. He's actually he's dope as hell. He. He's actually saved a lot of money, this man. Uh, I don't he, care. He the what, picking he's, peaches? He's like I don't insane. care about this guy. I nah, want to know how your car got repossessed. Fuck this guy, yeah, dude. so I just started getting paid less, man, for, like, even he knows he's he doesn't do, like, DoorDash full time, but this this man does it sometimes. And, All right, they don't care that much and about recently, your thing. it's it's been just horrible, bro. They pay you jack shit. So they they lowered the price. So now you're not you yeah. can't make enough to survive. You yeah, can't make I enough to pay I, your car bill. I couldn't make enough. He hasn't to pay paid rent in five bill. months. Oh, yeah, well, I, I paid some of it, bro. Like <laughs> you know, you can't say the full five months because mm -hmm. I, I paid some of it. But yeah, the past like four, three, three months. Something so where's like that, he living? Yeah. He's living on your couch. I, I, oh, yeah, he's um, living in my living we're, room. We're gonna right. get back to that, but I really got to know: is there a tracking device in all leased no, vehicles? That's, that's what I'm saying. That there was definitely a tracking device. They said for the longest, like, nah, there's no tracking device, which it seemed like that. But I heard from the guy after he got my car, he let me take all my stuff out. He was like, uh. Yeah, they had a shitty company before that was just like super behind on repos and they weren't getting, you know, the the ones they needed to get. Did so, he pull a gun on you? Nah, dude. He was chill. Um, Why'd you give him the car? I actually, dude, I tried to pull off of the fucking <laughs> truck, dude. It no, was halfway exactly. up and he tried to reverse it. No, I tried to reverse dude. as it was like going up. Um, and then he was like, <laughs> he was like, good thing. I told him that after he got it because he was he was hella chill. Um, I was like. Yeah, dude, I was trying to trying to back off when he pulled up, and uh, he was like, "Good thing you didn't do that. Like, you would have gone to jail." So, so what um, happened? So you were yeah, waiting somewhere else. You were waiting somewhere like, else you know, Dave, for your order, you know, and then you walked around the corner, and your car was on a tow truck. No, I was in the car. <laughs> Wait, and you just let him hook a fucking That's why he was sleeping, shit? for no, sure. Yeah, sleeping. you must have been sleeping, dude. I wasn't dude. sleeping, bro. I was literally chilling on my phone, okay? And, and you don't see a car order. pull up in reverse? Yeah, a tow truck? <laughs> no, bro. I literally, I'm chilling, and then I just see what I thought was somebody crashing into me, but the guy came in fast as fuck with the tow truck. Just, it's, it feels like somebody crashed into me. So I look up, and I'm like, this fucking truck just backed into me. It was a Ford F-150 with, like, a, a rig on the back, uh -huh. and... Bro, I'm like, what the fuck? Somebody That's a just... sketchy job. Yeah, Next thing he knows, he's vertical. Dude, and Damn. yeah. I'm like, bro, if somebody just crashed into me. Then I see I'm going up. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. So I'm like trying to back off, and uh, it doesn't work. That's dangerous. What if you thought that was a guy trying to kidnap you? And no, take you like, to Mexico to harvest your organs. On. Like, what if you pulled a gun on? They would have got him. You look like a guy that somebody would want to kidnap. I'd, I'd harvest that dick, dude. Yeah, that exactly, could be yeah. some rich guy in China organ. probably wants to buy that, dude. It is a big organ. It's a dude, valuable yeah. organ. Yeah, one hundred percent. We were talking about dick transplants before we went hot here. But yeah. so, how's your credit score looking these days, Saltine? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I understand that's I'm scared bad. to look at it, man. It's, Let's pull it up right now. Can we look it up? Know. There's the guy that grew the dick on his arm. Now I'm a real man. I love that bold statement at the end. My penis fell off, but it regrew on my arm. Dash. Now I'm a real man again. Can you read that for us, Saltine? The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. In the, the whole voice. title. No, the, the whole voice. title. The title. All right. My penis fell off, but it regrew on my arm. <laughs> now I'm a real man again. <laughs> 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 so, Saltine, you know it's going to be. Uh, you thought you had a hard time getting an apartment before the repo. Your credit score is probably like two hundred now. What are you going to do? Mean, oh God! I'm just, you know, trying to stack bread right now. Um, <laughs> How you doing that? Working security, crypto? Not security. I mean, probably worse than actually security. Uh, you're, actually, you're sweeping shit up, dude. No, nah, I'm you're like sweeping. Shit. I'm uh, like cashier or bartender sometimes. All right, so, all right. Um, it and just sweeping. depends. Yeah, sometimes sweeping too. Uh, if most I want to do sweeping, overtime, right, Jacob? most of the time. If, you, if I ask, <laughs> no, if I ask to stay to do a double to make more money. So if I start in the morning and it ends in the afternoon, I'll be like, oh, can I stay? Um, just sweep throughout the day, do whatever you need me to do. And yeah, you, hey, you look. At, I think you'd be a good employee, dude. No, I am, dude. I, yeah. I get what needs to be done. Uh, 
done fast and efficient. You know, you know I mean? we've been looking for some new, uh, some new blood for the channel, and you're you have a lot of the qualifications. No job. Well, you do yeah. have a job. Big you're penis. Kinda. No big penis. That's a qualification for the channel. Uh, yeah. You uh, you don't have like a good credit score. That you don't nice. have a car. It is it is horrible. I'm scared to check it. So. You don't have a car. You don't. You have anything or anyone to turn to. So I do I'm, have. Well, <laughs> yes, nothing. Nothing. Nobody, to turn your to, parents but. have disowned you. Yeah. Your no, girlfriends, no, ex girlfriends, want nothing. I haven't been disowned. I. Uh, no, nah, not at all. No, Leo's right. He knows more. Uh, right. Time I to do turn have in. Stuff to turn to. But yeah, to, we'll go with that. Time yeah. to turn to Let's us. It yeah. is time to turn to us. Saltine, you are. You're basically like you know those women who are about five foot eight of indeterminate race in ball games that have like the colorful hat and the broom and the dustpan. <laughs> yes, that's that's him, dude. <laughs> Wait, wait, can you say that again, dude? Wait, the, did I say five? The four foot eight <laughs> women yeah, yeah, of yeah. indeterminate race. Yeah. Outside ball game. Did I say five foot eight? Definitely four foot eight. And they're just waiting for people to just, like, they just watch everybody just litter and they know that it's, it's their job to clean it up. That's fucking salty, dude. <laughs> Next time I'm a crypto dog. He's wearing a little cap. He's wearing oh, a little dude, cap. Oh, yeah. Like, I would still do that, Kyle. Like, he okay. wants to sell hot dogs There's, outside of crypto. Dude, these hot hey, dog good guys, tips, bro. These hot dog guys, I talk to him. Okay, I come up to the guy after work at Crypto, right? And I'm like, you know, how much do the workers make? He's like, half, you know, half the profit. And so oh. I, I'm like, holy shit, these guys are out here from like 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. And they've, they're have they selling $8 a hot dog starting. What? So they've got to be making fucking bread. So I go to the guy. I'm like, yo, look, I understand. Look, I'm, I'm white. You know, I know you guys really don't fuck with white people in terms of work because... <laughs> Because you guys think we're lazy, but me, I'm a hard worker. All mm -hmm. right, and Just don't I'll get me shit any money done. And he's like, he's like, okay, meet me on a, uh, I think it was Fig and Olympic. Oh uh, wow, that's oh, suspicious boy. at all. No, not not the Fig you're thinking <laughs> of, downtown Figaro and Olympic. That um, is the Fig you're thinking of. Yeah, no, no, that's prostitutes. There. No, no, <laughs> Fig downtown where Target is and Crypto. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll put hot dogs on your car, but first I'm gonna put a hot dog yeah, in your mouth. These guys, some of them make like a thousand plus a cart, bro. You could make like five hundred in a night selling hot dogs. So dude, really, you I was thinking of doing you that. Have, dude, you're going to be selling street meat after fucking L.A. What's the, the, the women's team? Uh, Sparks. The Sparks. You're, you're going to yeah. be selling street meat after a Sparks game. Have you no respect? What, bro, you can make bread doing that. Like, Why don't you jerk I, I was also thinking of selling merch <laughs> out there. No, about Leo, the other thing webcams? he's been doing is he's just a graffiti artist now. No, I, don't, I don't want to do that for money. I just wait. You go graffiti. You go tag shit. He gets bro, stencils. Why are you? You're you it, are. No. Don't even talk about this, bro. This wait, you do the stencil <laughs> bullshit? No <laughs> stencils <laughs> and tag. He's the next Banksy. Dude. Wait, Come you on. fuck. Oh, so he's no. an RT. He just fucks buildings up. Dog. Wait, what? stop, bro. Why the fuck are you doing that shit, you bro? Mean, bro? <laughs> you're a toy, bro. You know what I'm a toy not, is? I know what a toy is. Yeah, you're not a toy, bro. I'm not a fucking toy. You're a fucking toy. I'm not a fucking toy. Danny, you know what a toy is? I think it's a shitty graffiti artist. Shitty graffiti makes whatever they touch uglier exactly. okay you know that means you're a toy if you call someone a toy a real graffiti i've artist never graffiti not... dog i'm not in the game well, that's bro. what i'm saying then <laughs> then you, the you're a toy if you call in the game a toy. dog Dude, are you wait if you're not hanging off freeways bro, with the fucking mountain climbing gear and doing some i'm fucking, gonna do that shit you're gonna be one of those okay i, I smell a video are you, are you seriously trying to get into graffiti art not, not i smell a video oh, I smell it too, it's, dude. it's fucking just it's a dope fucking community. It's it's a he's cool no. thing. No, he's, he's, he's really in it. He's yeah, really no. tagging, bro. So me and bro. me and Chase went to go be lookout for him, and he was. Oh, oh, got him. <laughs> oh yeah, I did get caught, bro. Of course you did. Yeah, bro. So they, they were like, this is a perfect spot. Not a good spot, actually. He, um, he, he but gets I, on a roof at, at 10, 10 p.m. on a Friday yeah. night when everybody's downtown. No. And dude, as soon as I he gets up no. there, security these comes guys around. These guys are just, these <laughs> guys down from there, bro. Dude, yeah, that is. These guys are just lazy to go look around. I would have gone somewhere else, but I was like, Danny, fuck it. It's a right concept. Next to us. We're just trying to get him caught the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, he goes stop, up there, we like unbolt the ladder and run away with it. We got to stop talking about this. So, oh, yeah. We, so every, the gone. notorious salty and every LAPD well, detective in wait, LA. Wait, wait a second. Anymore. Wait a second. Do you sign it? Bro. Is there some kind of yes? There so, is. Can I explain this? Can I let me salty? Yeah, let me take this for a second. He so, signs his tag. We, I, we not, not I, like I, let me talk, Saltine. I'm sorry. We did the the fan Jerry. I made him rap at a party video back in 2019. Classic. There's a, a section in there where we hang out with some real graffiti artists. Yeah. Which I'm not saying that with any sort of like respect because I think it's yeah. a lame art form. But they taught us what they do, and basically they all have these signatures. Their signature 
Because I thought graffiti artists is like, today I'm going to make a giraffe, and then there's going to be a dragon, and then there's going to be a warlock. No. They just write their names over and over and over uh, in their own signature font. Saltine, yours story. has to be an S that's made out of a penis. That's got to uh, be Saltine's well, that's, tag. That's not my tag. I don't go by Saltine because, well, I'm known as Saltine. You guys would never um, guess what he said. So stop, tag. bro. It's no, going to be shittier bro. than Saltine, no, I guarantee. Bro, I, what? I, I, it's a photo of Vladimir Putin. No. <laughs> on the, with a clown nose, bro. <laughs> that, okay. Yeah. Hey, it's cool. <laughs> no. What do you mean? He's a fucking clown, bro. Fuck Vladimir Putin. Why? I, I have bitch. to hear He's your take. He's causing, like, just so many deaths, so much... Are you Ukrainian? Yeah, I'm not Ukrainian, but... <laughs> Dude, this, like, is, this is the bro, most, like, cookie-cutter, 18-year-old girl on Twitter yeah. take yeah. on global politics uh, I've ever heard. I, I've been like, he's mad! So he's bad. starting wars! Yeah. Screw you, Vladimir! You're no, a bro, clown! But it's just... It's, it's cool. I, you're right. There are a lot that just write their name over and over. Time which, out. You stole that, though. Yeah, that was in your own original thing. I've seen not, that before. I've seen... I saw that, like, a, a, two, a year ago. No, you've never seen that. I've seen it. 2017, Guaranteed, bro. I looked it up before I made it, and I did not see that. I've seen other ones with, like, oh, similar things. Well, they're going to look it up on Google. To Saltine, see it. it's about moving up. So, you're you're supposed to move you up in life. That's so not all you've, I do. You've lo- you're, now you don't make 100K, and you're fucking tagging, dude. Bro, <laughs> and not only that, your signature is Vladimir Putin's face with a fucking That is not my nose? signature, bro. I'll this show is... you a photo of what he did. So yes. he got the stencil, and then oh, sprayed it all around the stencil so it's in a squid. <laughs> It was a square. No, actually, the face did. It was show. a square. With you, dude. dude they, it's not even it's a square. So he didn't even do even it right. I'm not even gonna talk, man. No. If they're just gonna guess. And like, then the bro, other like, time, he, he tried to get the cloud noise with red spray paint, and he sprayed it so far away <laughs> that it just covered <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. Nah, it right didn't on. Cover the whole you're thing. definitely a toy, bro. You're a fucking toy. <laughs> no, right on not, Main bro. Street on the fucking Nike building. Like it's so no! like, not a single piece <laughs> nah, of graffiti bro. anywhere inside. No. Are you trying to claim saltine? You're like, I'm not a toy, bro. Are you trying to claim you're like a le- legitimate graffiti bro. artist right now? So like you're not a toy, suck, dude. Tell us why you're not a toy. <laughs> because, bro, I I'm just not a toy. Like, what is there to explain? <laughs> you use a stencil and you got caught. <laughs> I didn't get caught, bro. You got caught. You he didn't Nike even use the stencil building, right, bro. Dude, the Nike building. That's so funny. Bro. Was not- You've had zero I, successful I'm tags. Gonna, I'm not even gonna explain myself because there there is slight gaslighting in this fucking story. Bro said like you're you gaslighting see- Putin. Bro said the entire thing got covered. Yeah, the face got covered, but it's still. I mean, it didn't look that so bad. So you saw his shoulder bad. blades. No, Can I see it. And we have a picture of it. No, nah, he doesn't have a picture. I have a of video it. of him doing the ones of the one getting caught. That. I'd love to see this. No, bro. I'm making sure Holly's still coming. I'm not even going to talk about this. That's not the only thing I sprayed. This guy's like, yeah, he only Yeah, we sprays. stopped going with him after we got caught he, the first time. He we was like, like, this isn't cool. Yeah. <laughs> this, this guy thinks I only spray one thing, but like I have multiple designs I've been working on that I'm going to spray. Like, it's it's not like, oh, I have one design. It's Vladimir Putin. Whoa. <laughs> this isn't real, no, bro. Dude. I can't believe it. Like, I got some sick shit that, hey, that would make someone signature. smile. What's all, all I want on like all a I piece want, of wood or something? Bro, I don't care about like. Like a canvas. I have an idea for you. Building. Wait. I was just practicing the other day on a piece of wood. Actually, what what's um, like the ten year goal for being a graffiti? Artist? Banksy, There's no right? Goal. Banksy. There's no goal. It's then just stop wasting just your time. Make, my, actually, you know what my goal is to make someone smile, bro. That's it. All I want to do is to make someone smile with with some art, bro. <laughs> so and I don't, don't want to make money off of it. <laughs> Look how shitty it is. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> oh my god, the timing on that. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> He's up there. There's a no, you you didn't wall. even see me rip it off. Wait, wait, wait! Is it that little tiny thing? <laughs> that little tiny thing, bro. What the like fuck is that? Did you print this out on your Hewlett Packard color <laughs> ink bro. printer, yeah, dude? Bro, it looks terrible. I, I knew it would be a shitty <laughs> spot. Like they top. told me to put it there, bro. dude. You are such a toy, <laughs> nah, bro. And then look at what he look at how bad the overspray was. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just hey. like a burn mark. It's just hey. a black blob. Something nah. I can't believe how, you're doing wait, this shit. How are you I not a toy? I can't, I can't believe how it. are you not? That's the shittiest graffiti I, I've ever seen. Nah, bro. I got another photo, bro. Let me see. Oh, you got better shit. Dude, bro? I've seen transvestite hookers tag a wall better than that. Nah, bro. Saltine, I can't believe you're doing this shit. Saltine, you suck at graffiti, bro. Whatever, man. <laughs> hey, it's, it's cool with me. 
<laughs> God damn. Whatever you think, man. You know, you know that so joy, many, uh, you, you can't even see it, you man. Know, you know a lot of these artists had a lot of trial and error, right? So that, that's my first time going out. I get it. I that agree. That was my first time going out. I, I sort of respect it. But the thing is, that's Jacob, so you know that was my first time going out ever but, to do shit? But you can't And these claim. guys are the worst spotters ever. But fucking idiots. You guys <laughs> spotting them? <laughs> yeah. Down. Fucking idiots, bro. Is it a random guy? No, it's security. Uh, it's security. <laughs> and then there's the, the stencil right now. Let me Let me just say. You know, it's really funny because it was my first time going out, and I don't want to make any money off of it. I just want to make someone smile, bro. Nobody's going to smile at that. I just made you guys smile. What are you saying? You defaced public property. I just made you That's all you did. You're smiling. I don't know why it's so funny to me that Saltine just (laughs) crawls up somewhere and then just does a shitty stencil. (laughs) He, like, doesn't even know how to do it yet, dude. It just turns out so fucked up. I made you guys smile, bro. That's all that matters. (laughs) From doing that, I made you smile. Well, if you do do a tagging video with us. That'll make I a mean, lot of people smile. Yeah. I gotta admit, I did get into the hobby as well. It was like in seventh grade, though. Oh, no. Yeah, what would you do? Bro, the, were you a marker guy? It's it's just cool, bro. I like, know. I mean, you know you have to remember. spend years to get your art in a gallery to have thousands of people see it. I think if right? you're cool like Banksy, it's, it's cool. But that's sure, it. Okay, though. but you know that <laughs> those good, people though. had a lot of trial and error in the real world as well. Mm-hmm. All their shit didn't look perfect at first, bro. Of course, they had a lot man, of, of course, shitty yeah. pieces. Yeah, I so. think that you could maybe put your energy into something else. It's voice acting that might be more fruitful, voice yeah. Acting. And it's it's just something to do some some nights. It's not something I want to do like for a living, bro. It's just a passion. Everybody has nobody can do it. For side a passion. It's not yeah. a real job. Yeah, but it's not a job. I don't admit do that though. Job. I don't see why you're so reluctant to admit you're a fucking toy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> clearly you're a toy. You, you, so far. you need to keep it, practicing. Well, you gotta like, say it, dude. <laughs> you say you're a I toy. I just think toys are like. It's just weird because toys don't actually get out there and do shit. They like. They yes, like they do. They just don't they do, do it do. well. I mean, You're a toy so far. Kind of. Like, like a toy is like a poser. Like, I'm not posing, acting like... You use a stencil. I, I do do it. I, I'm admitting that I have You're telling like a, a big time. audience that you do it. Yeah, I I just started, though. I haven't, I'm not acting like I'm good at it at all. Can you, you look know? up the definition of a graffiti toy, Austin? I'm like It's like a poser, you know? Like, if I were saying that, like... Yeah, I got some great pieces, but I never took a photo of it. Or, Austin? yeah, I got up there, but I forgot to take how, a photo. How high is Austin it's, right now? It's like a great um, <laughs> reaction. Like, let me, let you me, know, like a skate poser. It's like somebody that's that acts you. like... That's you. Right no, now, no, what you do is the act, equivalent of going to the mall, holding the board by the truck, yeah, but, and then trying a pop shove it for 45 minutes. Yeah, but, that's but you. listen, like, it's, it's not like the, a poser who skates, like... Is acting like he can do all these tricks and shit. Like I, I don't act like I can do all these cool ass pieces yet. Toy you know? uses an adjective to describe poor work or as a noun meaning an inexperienced or unskilled writer. Oh, okay. Graffiti well, writers usually use this as a derogatory term for their new writers in the scene or writers who are old or are old to the scene and still do not have any skill. Or reputation. <laughs> so you're yeah. absolutely a toy. I don't like yeah, that the word a writer is in the definition. It should just be vandal. I mean, no. You're so not an artist. You're a, you're a shitty vandal. Calligraphy, you're though. a new poser vandal. I mean, I don't know. I got some Borderline cool, trans- I got some yeah. cool pieces, some places, uh, like... I got a flower that I did. That's pretty you, sick. How do you um, present the idea that I you're gonna know. like like do graffiti for the first time to like these guys, dude? Like, what did you, <laughs> I don't know. You just sat down and tell me, hey, hey guys. Well, well, no, me and Chase are like, hell yeah, get up there. Of course, <laughs> of course I know what because you were gonna Kyle, do. Kyle I, feel, I can't imagine you holding it, you back know? the laughter as he's trying to tell you. I came home from work to see him on the counter with the cutting board, the kitchen cutting board, cutting out a stencil. Holly Day with a kitchen knife. No. So he was making a stencil. Mm-hmm. All right, so. sit in the middle. Chase, sit on the floor, probably, or uh, yeah, or it's maybe probably the only third mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we only we don't have another third mic. So, so. here's what we're gonna do, Saltine. We or or whoever sit in the middle, and then you guys could she, you guys could uh, use the same mic if you want. In the back. No, Saltine, we've given you plenty of opportunities to meet beautiful women. We had gave you an opportunity to show your hard boner, the sky bree. <laughs> and I did. Chase, you well, did. It took you a long time, longer yeah, than well, I like. Because I knew I wasn't going to have sex, right? And I don't really watch porn, man. So okay, well, now you have the opportunity to seduce the lovely okay. Holly Day. Hello, Holly, Holly Day Hi. is... Uh, I'm uh, Seth or Saltine. Seth or Saltine. Nice you give him the rundown real quick, Leo? Yeah, so uh, Holly Day is a... Thank you. Are you driving to the show? No, I'm no, we're all Ubering. Ubering. Yeah, we're Ubering. I'm Ubering the boys. Danny, Leo's you his third beer. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Are you going to drink later? Uh, probably not. It's it, Monday. Continue, Salty. So, I'm not a toy graffiti artist. Holiday's an emerging... What do I continue with? What? Holiday's an emerging 
giant porn star uh, has very thank uh, you full fledged big time OnlyFans now. Uh, thank you. She's been on Plug Doc right recently. Recently, it hasn't come out yet. It hasn't come out yet. She it's going to come she out. She fucked a gentleman named Thugger. Are you from Thugger the is a I very. Know, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. She's also uh, recently had sex with uh, none other than Dread. Uh, do you know who Dread is, Jacob? Unfortunately, do yeah. Yeah, who was yeah. Dread? So, <laughs> he's had a couple exes. He's, who uh, the had porn star with the Dread. Yeah. Is that true? In the industry. No, yeah. That's is that true. Uh, the biggest actually one? In the one has, of course. Uh, uh, we're having too dread? many too many cross conversations. Yeah, yeah. Here. So Dane, you? you can hit on her when we tell you you can hit on her. I don't like that you're trying to put in side work right now. now you actually fuck. a, a yeah. quick rundown on who Saltine is. He's a friend, obviously. He's a, a roommate and friend of Jacob and Chase, who are friends of the channel. Let's have been this. on before. Yeah. Leo, let's do this. Sure, you compile his list of assets, <laughs> sure. and I will compile his list of liabilities. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, his assets so yeah. far. He's got a great radio voice. Yeah, do, to, uh, do what I said to. Remember what I told you to say to, to Holly Day? Go ahead and do it in the radio voice. Oh, um, yeah, he wanted me to say that uh, I would just like to fuck that tight pussy of yours. <laughs> and uh, Wow. Uh, yeah. It's, it's nice actually voice. quite good. Well, it's yeah. quite a good voice. Do it like, a little better. Like, I would love to fuck that tight pussy of yours. <laughs> it sounds even better if you have headphones on. Yeah, yeah I'm, sure. I'm sure. I'm <clears> sure. <throat> Maybe later. Yeah. Later. So uh, Number two. The second thing he's done is the, there's the, only two, right? There's greatest, only two. Yeah, only two. <laughs> his greatest accomplishment is he spent about forty minutes trying to get hard in a bathroom of the Leo and Danny show, yeah. the episode that Sky Bree was on, a big episode for us. Oh, I and see. and then he came like, out and kind of showed it to her. That was yeah. that's his biggest. No, was his, it like, his biggest asset is he has a big. Penis. He does have a big penis. Was it fully hard? You got it there. Should wow. we give him redemption? Should he do it today? Oh, he's gonna have to do Not it again. One hundred percent. You will have to do it again. Holly oh, Day will gladly take a look. I'm glad to take a look. Man. Yeah, hopefully yeah. you're better. It's time for your redemption, baby. It is. But first, I have to share with Holly Day his list of liabilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is going to take a little longer than okay. the other one. We just found out a recent one as well, so we will, uh, oh, we'll be going uh, into we don't that need one. To talk about the toy shit. All right, we will be talking about it. <laughs> no, we will because, be talking because, about it because it's a hobby. That's it's it's a you, have, you have a literal video in Jacob's phone of you being a toy in real life. Hey, okay, a, let me hobby. let me do my thing. Yeah, go okay, Saltine, whose show is this? I know you have a great voice. Your show. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so he spent a couple of years bouncing around Santa Barbara in a leased car. Which car was recently repossessed by a Mexican guy with a Ford F-150 that had a tow you know crane on it? That's crazy. <laughs> well, come on. They're, They're the only ones who have courage <laughs> enough to do a it's job a good, like that. Exactly. And it's a good gig. It pays well. And they, uh, you Wait, know, do you down. think he was, what, what was his build? Uh, probably short and portly. I yeah. think he was he was short and fat. That's a yeah, good bet. Exactly. That's a good bet. Wow. I was going to say big and fat. Big and fat. Okay. All right. Go so ahead. I was just playing the odds there. It's not that impressive. It's like when a fortune teller comes at a chick and is like, "Oh, you you have a never mind." Saltine, so you don't have a car anymore, and your credit score is underground. It's so low. Oh yeah. dear. Number two. Something number two like liability is he works currently at Crypto.com Arena. <laughs> Is he okay. the VP of marketing for the Lakers? No. Is he even something like the head of security? Hey, Absolutely not. Working, he goes around with an apron and a dustpan, <laughs> making sure Cracker Jack bags are collected and disposed of properly <laughs> before like the that. end of the night. Something like that. Liability number three. He has aspirations of pushing a cart in front of Crypto Arena after PBR events selling hot dogs. That's what he hey, wants make to do. Thousand dollars a night. I don't believe that. Five hundred. Do. It's five hundred. Nah. You said because they split it. It's well, 50, 50. The, uh, Yeah, but oh, God, I'm saying they themselves. Why are you embellishing for Holly Day? Moving along. She's bragging a little bit. I'm bragging. bragging. I'm Moving bragging. along, I'm Holly Day. Nothing though. It's nothing that I even. No. He has a new hobby slash life goal okay. of becoming a graffiti artist. Okay. What he doesn't understand is that he's currently a fucking toy. By the definition hey, of the term, the listen to me. I'm, I'm still, still going. Toy, yes. I'll accept no. it. Still going. We'll tell you what a toy is. Okay, you it. continue fast. He, but his artwork consists of printing up on his HP printer a stencil of Vladimir Putin with a clown nose. 
It's his edgy political take. Too bad every That's corporation in America has the same edgy political it, take it of you. Nobody thing. in America yeah. thinks Putin's a nice guy. I got other designs. It's not edgy. It's not creative. It's not ballsy. It's fucking hack, and it like sucks, a, dude. Banksy would push you into one of the canals hey. he was doing real art on. And lastly, hey. his liability is that his brain functioning is lowered because he inhales so much paint fume. Oh, All right? Okay. Yeah, something like that. Holly, yeah, this is uh, yeah, the scales are tipping a little it's bit. Now go get hard yeah. with her knowing yeah. all of that. And show it's her time for you to go get hard. Good go. jack off, babe. Bro, I'm not getting hard now. Why? <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta wait a second. Well, right. good. Go take your time. Go take your time. Nah, bro. What is this? This is just like this is like last time. You just rush in the what bullshit. Do you mean? I, like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? Just go watch I don't even porn feel... in the bathroom. Bro, how are you gonna just so sit watch here? porn in the bathroom? No, I'm not gonna get hard because you're oh, bashing Holly, the I have fuck an idea. Why don't we shoot the video that Holly showed us with Dread? Maybe she should show it to him. A hundred percent. This, you see this it? was the you plan. You should see I this guess. video, Holly. Blow, Bash blow up that my video. ass, so then I don't get hard because I'm like, damn, these fools bashing the fuck. Out I think of me. this will help now you, I buddy. Get hard. This is gonna help you right here. You should check this out. It's fucked. Up. I want to see a uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Saltine, I'm gonna tell you, you right now. It. I will offer you a job on the Danny Mullen channel. You're too classic. Dude. This guy's unbelievable. You're like, you're gonna come out in a shoot, and you're gonna get paid well for your fucking shoot. All right, Here's man. the dread video. I, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Dreddington? Very nice. Yeah. It's 14 Back inches. Shots. There should be a Bridgerton parody with <laughs> Dread. With Dread. That's Where is fucking Dreddington? Hilarious, dude. See? Oh, wow. He has good ideas every now and then. It's a great yeah. idea. You want to say too? By the way, uh, Holly, you know... Uh, terrible. Work. We're going to have to blur that, Austin, if that was seen on camera. <laughs> Holly, uh, Jacob nice. dated a very prominent porn star for a good, a good long time. Yeah. Kind of loved her a little yeah. bit. They fell in love, both of them, man. That's sweet. You know who Gabby Carter is? I can't say that I do. He fucked her. He Good did. for you, bud. Is that your only porn star, or is there another one? There's more, but I... Oh, yeah, they're not as... Well, you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, them. I'm not going to bring them up. Yeah. Like, Holiday, can I have you... This might be interesting to you, too, Leo. Sure. Can I have you rank these three gentlemen? Take off your shades, Chase, if you don't mind. I want you to rank these three gentlemen in order of best to worst for short-term sexual relationships. Short-term sexual relationships? Okay. Which one would you bang tonight? Can, one through three. Can you guys look at me? Yeah, give her a good look. <laughs> Chase is trying so hard. He's trying, dude. <laughs> I think it's going to be... I don't want to say what I well, think it's we'll going to be. We'll see. We'll see. I'd probably bang you. I knew it, Chase. Yeah. He's got that... Dude, I'd bang Jacob's, you, then you, then you. I'm I know. sorry. Jacob's got that Disney hey, chi- fucking d- it hey, factor. He did say short term, so... Yeah, I'm, but I'm maybe long more term. long term. Yeah, <laughs> yeah long term when he's a world famous yeah, graffiti man. artist. Yeah. Yeah. I love a bit of creativity. Yeah. <laughs> maybe when he's upgraded to edgy ideas like putting a party hat on Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Dude, hey, that that should be your other that should be your next fucking gig, dude. Your next uh toy uh tag. No, I, I got Now on still. Yeah, dude, he's yeah. wacky. He's a <laughs> yeah, reverend. Is that the video, bro? <laughs> he doesn't gotta... take seriously people that murder <laughs> millions of people. Dude, dude we got to go with with all the most obvious like dictators. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's the only thing he's tagging no, I, in our I, video, I dude. And then his merch just says rape is bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> Hey, I just want to make people smile, man. I don't really care. <laughs> I made you guys smile. Yeah, you, so. you are. Dude. You are. Yeah. Now go pull out your boner. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> go, dude. Go. So that'll really make me smile. <laughs> me too, dude. Salt in. Salt in, you're so classic, dude. He's on blue. It's like he's doing bits. It's like I his know. life is a bit. Dude. His life is a bit, Danny. He's working at crypto. He lost his so car. Tough. He's going out doing stencils of Vladimir Putin with a Fucking hey, wait, cloud I, I got a, I got a That new is not design. real life, bro. <laughs> that is not real life. Oh my god. This dude. is amazing, dude. What a great start to the evening. It's been wild. But no, for real, at some point you will have to go to the bathroom and try to get a boner. I will do that. All right, good. But I think it's a little too soon. Though. No, why? Go, we go are get in there, dude. We've been yeah. going for an hour. I don't know, man. I'm like uh, getting hated on, bro. So now I can't get We're no, not I think hated it's sexy. on you. <laughs> there we go. Bro. It turns her on. Yeah, I love a man with yeah. a few downfalls. Really? But Holly, what do you think? What do you think about a man that you know goes out there and risks going to jail by tagging places, you know, and buildings and it's stuff? It's really like that. brave. And there we go. See. <laughs> yeah. And don't you think he has a very highly developed political palette? The way he right. doesn't like Vladimir Putin. I think that's very insightful. Yes. What do you yeah. think of his idea to stencil? <laughs> Vladimir Putin on a building with a clown nose. Isn't that creative? How long did it take you to come up with that? 
<laughs> I mean, bro, I got a lot of other ideas. It was just name some. Oh yeah, like, let's talk <laughs> about these ideas. <laughs> one dude. more. And you can't, yeah, and you can't like, steal okay, Hitler so, with a party at. So <laughs> there's a lot of graffiti artists that pay homage to other well-known graffiti artists. So, so you'll copy you know, who, I like how he pronounced the age. Do you guys know who Lech Lerat is? No, Lerat. we don't. We don't know the these assholes the in the first, graffiti scene. The first stencil artist ever from France. Actually, Banksy copies all his. His work, pretty much. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Banksy is a direct copy of Black Le Rat. So um, I want to make a Black Le Cat. So Are Black you one of those guys? <laughs> Are you is, one of those guys who's like, this, no. did, did you hear that dig at Black Banksy? Le Cat. He's, he's a direct copy of Black Le Blanc. Yeah. You're one of those guys who like does two open mics. Like, you know Jerry Seinfeld's overrated, right? Yeah, he George Carlin's not funny, dude. I'm just trying to be proper so I don't like... You As know, people that yeah. fuck up, you know. Um, oh my god! This I'm sorry. I, I just have that good radio voice, so I can talk proper. Um, so Black Lerat, right? Um, I want to make a Black Le Cat. You know, it's paying homage to Black Lerat, the first graffiti stencil artist ever. Okay. Um, and so it's gonna be a cat. This is Black Le Cat. Okay. Instead of the rat that Banksy does and copies. All right. And Black Le Rat okay. does the same thing. Okay. Too. One. I got another one too. If you want to. One yeah. guy who is he's t he's tightrope walking. Yeah. The rope to heroin addiction yeah. is going to see that on the back of like a Glendale freeway <laughs> yeah. sign and get it or appreciate it. Yeah. Other than that, nobody will give a fuck. Hey. And I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried that like that Blake Lacat or whatever the fuck you're talking. I'm worried like that's going to become a metaphor for your life. Nah. Like pretty soon you're like you're going to be appreciated by one heroin addict <laughs> and it's going to be you. I mean, even if just one person <laughs> like only one person ever likes it and smiles from it, then. Hey, that's cool by me. It's not something I want to make money off of. It's just a hobby. Just it's a job like, well done. Just like there's people that play guitar as a hobby that don't want to make money off of playing guitar. Do you and they're really shit at playing guitar, but they play it their whole life. You know, same shit. You there's going to be like a Hispanic 50-year-old yeah. man supporting his family like on a ladder trying to clean the graffiti, falls, He's getting breaks paid his to back. Do that. That so might... I'm, I'm employing okay. Are you You're making jobs? Him? Yeah, I'm employing him. Holly, what, do you feel the same way about porn in a way? Are you trying to make people happy, or is it more just, is it more of a personal gain? I'm just a slut. It's a slut. See, yeah. she has monetized well, her hobby, though, to the tune of about 60 grand a month. Yeah. Okay, Saltine? Well. Yeah. Saltine, you realize. to see your penis, guys. You realize when you develop a hobby that <laughs> basically consists of this. We're gonna make fun of you. Yeah, I mean, you can make fun of it. Uh, I'm Danny, just saying that, that video of him it's doing cool it, dude, was. <laughs> dude, we're First of all, it's so small. There's no yeah, one's it, area. Of you can't see it at all. Not only that, but the security guard telling him to get down. That is on. I couldn't believe. No. I don't get. Hey, we I, we can't post that because it's literally uh, you doing a criminal act. I think we are post that. We could probably post no, it. Yeah. Don't post that. It's L. A. Dude. Yeah, nobody, nobody does gives, a sh Nobody bro, gives a shit. Yeah, there's too true. much going on. Me and Danny. I mean, trust I see me. people doing it in broad daylight. Danny, what did what did cops witness right in front of us <laughs> as we were witnessing it? <laughs> Holly, when let's talk about the, the shoot the shoot the video when we were in the subway. Yeah. Was it? Did it seem like a, a almost a different country? And there were cops around, but nobody gave a crap. That right? shit felt third world. It I was, lived. I told you, I lived in Africa, guys? and it uh -huh. was worse. MacArthur Park than Station. In the oh, bush no of MacArthur Africa. Park. Yeah, it Is was downtown. Dude, downtown Jacob, dude. by right by you, bro. The, yeah, yeah, I live in the subway, country. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the subway, we MacArthur went, dude, and it crazy. was like. I mean, first of all, there's people are just openly doing fentanyl everywhere, yeah. and, and cops walk right by it. They don't they give don't a crap. What, what, what can you do, though? Yeah, I guess what fentanyl. can you do? Leah was trying to block uh, my ass while we were walking down the street, and people were screaming. What are you yeah, trying to block? He was trying to block, ass, ass, so he, he was trying to block it with a, with a firm class from both hands. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, is um, people come from other countries, too, that are used to public transport, and then they'll, oh, I'm just going to use the subway, and then uh -huh. this is what they witness. Bro, the subway Imagine is a guy from Geneva, Switzerland. <laughs> like, uh, nice. I wonder if the, the trains there are inefficiently here, too. It like, looks like there's a lot of mental illness oh. in the, here in uh, America. Oh, yeah, dude, it's is, fucking... Is that a... Uh, is What do Swiss people like? Oh, I was scared. I didn't realize who this was. It was bad. There were people with two cops yes. about 50 yards away... A meth addict, or I guess a fentanyl addict, is the drug of the day. Yeah, those are outdated terms. Crackhead, meth addict, everybody's on fentanyl now. Yeah, we don't need to say that crackhead anymore. It's, it's useless. A, a guy chased us up the stairs mm -hmm. while we were accompanied by the lovely Holly Day. Mm -hmm. And earlier, on a train, a man tried to fight Leo when Leo had done 
essentially nothing. Okay, yet. first of all, I, that's never happened really. I mean, usually I'm just I'm, I'm a big guy. This guy was a hammered African American male, and I think he attacked me because I was holding a violin. I was playing. A, Why is it a relevant classical. that he was hammered? Well, I don't think he would have had the bravery to do it on his own, man. You know what I mean? But he just knocked the violin out of my hand. And then a Latino man, because, of course, Danny, Danny, you were about to choke him out. Danny was ready to attack. And then a Latino man was like, there's children here, man. And then he he actually, like, responded to that. He was like, oh, fuck, yeah, the kids. And then, like, walked back. Damn. Who brings their it's children scared. to MacArthur Park? Well, it was it wasn't MacArthur Park. It was in the we were in the subway. That was Union, and which is not no. a better place to bring your children. No, no. if you no. left a child unattended for one one rate one one way trip from like Union to Santa Monica, you wouldn't have a child anymore. <laughs> yep, the child would That's be right. gone. That's right. This yeah. is true. true. It was wild. I cannot believe the state of uh, some parts of downtown and the subway right now. It. It's frightening. And then a man was, I mean, you were really close. We we would have had to almost mace that dude if he kept following us. I mean, he followed us all the way from the bottom of the subway, all the way to the street. And what was he saying? You're going to get jumped, motherfucker. That's something to that effect. Yeah. What video were you filming? We, um, we did a video. So the premise was that that MacArthur Park station is so fucked up and the city can't do anything about it because nowadays enforcing crime, it's like, oh, it's racist. It's problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we can't, or enforcing law and order rather. So the only thing they can do to stop people from ODing on the trains, attacking commuters on the trains, is they blare classical music. And it's works, bro. It's it's lower the, the uh, yeah, there's, what did the, you know the stats? What did the, it's, it's like. I don't know the exact percentage of crime reduction, yeah. but it has had a noticeable effect reducing crime because when you blare music, bums, first of all, they don't like anything nice. You know, like a fucking get a little bit of Mozart going, the violin. <laughs> it's like garlic to a vampire. They run. They, their brains can't process it. But also, it's hard to like hang around with your loser junkie buddies, uh, one of whom is soon to be saltine, and talk about <laughs> fentanyl use when like the Fifth Symphony of Beethoven is blaring over the speakers. I feel like it would make me go crazier though. Like like I'd be like in V for Vendetta when all the fucking fireworks are going off. I'd like so it would make nuts. you feel higher. Yeah. Well, well may, it hasn't been the case. People have been <laughs> leaving. They so, just leave. Yeah. So Leo and I went down there in tuxedos with violins to fucking be like bum security, like yeah. ward them off with fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny, dude. We had dude. It, it's it, it's felt like a classic video. Is right? it out yet? No, no, it's next week probably. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a wild video. So, so Saltine, why are you still sitting here without a boner? You know, I was just yeah. thinking about getting hard to show my cock. All right, oh. good. So go to the bathroom. <laughs> and what, meanwhile, I want to see that. Shall I try We're gonna to interview my shit hard right now. Mm. Yes. You All right, should. go get it hard. Go. Will I be able to right now? We'll probably see. not. Just relax. You hardly we'll could last time. I mean, yeah, dude. Uh, and now see. life is harder. There's more stress uh, floating around that salty nah, head. Actually, it's gonna distract you. Before you go, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Then. Okay. Well, Leo has take. Leo is on his fourth Modelo. I don't know what's inspired this frenzy. Leo, you have to host tonight. You realize well, you have I'm a job. Proud. I don't know if I'm hosting or not, but it, uh, alcohol. Leo is saying back, that Leo. alcohol is a performance if you can't enhancer. Host, I'll, I'll do it. Ask I'll me host. if you think alcohol is a performance enhancing drug. Uh, refer to my New York stand up performance when I was absolutely shit housed drunk. Austin, you had to watch that abomination with me. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad though. It was pretty bad. No, Leo does really good when he gets hammered. Own, though, right? We used to get hammered, like, blacked out for his shows. Sure. Yeah, I mean, with our fans yeah. too, it's not like you can cross the line. Mm. Yeah. But th there is a point that I reach though when I'm drunk where I'm like comatose and I I can't get on stage. What were you saying, Saltine? You know, just go get saying, hard uh, to each their own. You know, like I mean, some people perform better on alcohol, depending. That's true. I think like uh, who's it? Like Bert Kreischer? Doesn't he perform a lot on alcohol? You know, I mean, of, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. A lot of those uh, guys a have a couple of drinks. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of that's mental too. Yeah. I think you can convince yourself sober yeah. that you are drunk. Well, if you're an alcoholic, you can handle it more obviously that's yeah, probably yeah, true too yeah. but jacob do you feel this you're a pussy hound do you feel like when you go to a bar your brain is telling you like oh dude i gotta go get a cranberry vodka i need a fucking a whiskey sour i need something to give me some social courage but you often have nights out where before you even hit the bar you just get into that fucking state where you're just as flowy and smooth without any alcohol. all right i guess i should uh, get hard i mean yeah it yeah. really depends i mean like i went sober for like seven months and I lived with Leo, and I probably got the most pussy in that sober time. Listen uh, to that, yeah, kids. That was, that was, I witnessed that. You don't need alcohol. That, so. Obviously, though, like, talked about I it before. But got just as much drinking. Like, it's just different, though. Like, 
the first two months not drinking, like you feel kind of weird going out. But then after you get your confidence back of like, then it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, you you do you do get enough reps. Like uh, I think I was trying to. Yeah, I, I used to have water on the rocks. Water on the rocks night with uh, Mitch, my old. Which buddy. I think is just conning. You go out and you fucking have water you on the rocks. You hold it, yeah. You hold it so girls think you're drinking. But I do the opposite of that. I do. Uh, uh, I do placebo girls. roofie yeah. night, where I just take like a sugar pill out and I drop sugar pills into girls' drinks. See, <laughs> I was trying to roofie. I, it's sugar pills, man. It's just for, it's like a. It's fun. It's fun it's to pretend to roofie a girl. I'm into pretending to roofie. No, but it's uh, <laughs> you know, play. the alcohol with comedy. Um, it's probably not performance enhancing when it's it, you're drunk drunk but i think and you're it, getting there quickly my boy yeah but it, we got a couple hours yeah we're uh, not done drinking after the pot no, hell no <laughs> dude I'm, i might roll in there just you know it's a it's a what is it a uh he's already hammered bro he's it's gonna be, a he's getting drunk it's <laughs> a i can't even think we of the words, it should so. be a fun night it should be It'll a good be show the, i imagine fun. ticket sales go, go pretty well yeah we I'm went out yeah well we're oh, on you're it performing you know what i mean so we're oh wow it seems like it's gonna be a festive she's performing tonight yeah and I think that's a that's a big draw, you know. That'll uh, people love to see porn stars perform comedy. They I think. do. Yeah. Are you gonna drink before your set? Oh hell yeah! Oh definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want a beer now? Yeah. yeah. Oh Jacob, I think one? some uh, some chemistry is starting to form. I can't on the right side the of thing guys. is, you guys are Thanks, the same Chase. age. I think you guys are the oh, same yeah. age. I'm 21. Yeah, I'm 21. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Chemistry. So sexy. I so Jacob. While well, we're on the subject of getting pussy, and I guess you guys can all <laughs> chime in on this. I went out to the fucking bungalow last night. That's crazy. Yeah, it's the spot. That's Dude, bad. it is not the spot. Dude, what? no, that place, like, it's kind of cool, but it also totally sucks. Dude, like, there yeah. were so many guys. So I'm reading <laughs> I'm reading the book, One Conversation at a Time right now, you fucks. <laughs> I'm reading the book right now, The Game, and there's the concept peacocking in there. Yeah. And uh, hilariously, it's done by the dude, Mystery, who's the big magician guy. He would wear like six wristwatches and two backpacks and a big top hat like he was the Mad Hatter. There were guys there last night who were still peacocking 20 years after peacocking was developed to go pit on chicks. Jeez. I saw 50-year-old dudes sagging leather pants down to below their ass wearing three <laughs> studded belts and, like, leopard print vests. Jesus the dudes Christ. suck at uh, at the bungalow, but there are nights when there's just a, a, there's there's beautiful girls there. Santa Monica clubs well, suck with guys in general. It's yeah, there's all, always like, guys dudes. wearing Rolexes. Exactly. There's a lot of rich that's dudes. That's the scene in Santa Monica. Dude, what, I, what we notice, though, is that go you there. go there, <laughs> and you'll start seeing the same chicks there every time. Really? Uh-huh. And it's like, whoa, okay, that's, why are these girls here at the bungalow <laughs> All it's like, do I know you? Down. Oh yeah, I creeped you out last weekend. Hands, Hands down, down, a place that Jacob introduced me to is the best place for picking up chicks in LA, and that is Bar Lease. It's With, a yeah. it used to be. It's insane. Holly knows. Dude, I love a Bar Lease. It's thing. still on a bad <laughs> night, dude. It's still fucking solid. You, when you have were, you gone without hitting me up? Oh, it's just like a random night we ended up there. It was like one time a week ago. I promise I'll hit you up what, next time. Bro? Now you're close by. We'll go. Every, we'll go more yeah. often. We should go on Tuesdays, dude. Loser. But no, stop. I now promise. that you've moved out of the provinces, you fuck. It's weird that me yeah. and Jacob work as a pussy getting duo because we are. Pretty... We lived together for a year, yeah. Yeah. Pussy it getting duos. Pussy getting duos. Yeah, wingman's important. They who's, have a who's Maverick? Is Maverick? Jacob Maverick? Maverick? I mean, I think I'm more Maverick, and then he is. Ju- he's like, he's the uh, Glenn Powell, the character, which is like the handsome younger guy. And I'm just like an old seasoned vet who still pulls some pussy, but it's, you know, I'm going to, I give him some wisdom before he, he goes off into the night with a hottie. You know? I, I think you're going to lose your pilot wings soon, buddy. He would do buddy. that too. Is that what's going on? But not today. <laughs> like, not we had today. it set up, like I'd bring a girl over and you'd like be out there for like the first hour. Exactly. And like ease us into knowing each other. Exactly. And then when it was time, he'd be like, all right, all right I'm guys, going to bed. Good night. <laughs> and then he'd, he'd bang, dude. It was not, it was, he it was a perfect. The, the streak he went on, man. I mean, I it fucking, it's worth talking about because it, it was insane, but he, he did, he hooked up with, it was like f- five nines in a week. Mm-hmm. And I'm only not saying 10 because tens are Victoria's secret models. Mm-hmm. These girls are like the hot college girls, like very hot yeah. college girls, which arguably is a higher rank than, than a Victoria's, Victoria's secret, secret model. model. Yeah. The thing is in my eyes, yeah. Did the one yeah. through 10 scale, you got to think about this. The Victoria's Secret models are the only guys they're going to give the time of day to are like international sports stars 
Russians and fucking Middle Eastern business moguls. Exactly. So right there. And if you did somehow, like if Jacob somehow caught the newest Victoria's Secret model, she probably weighs 300 pounds, by the way, if we're being honest. That's probably like the new Victoria's Secret girl. Yeah. But if you caught an actual hot one in Ralph's on Monday afternoon without any makeup and you like fucking pimped her, she would put so much pressure on you even then to be like a grade A plus boyfriend, yeah. which lowers yeah. her score. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you would have to fucking be making her breakfast and you would have to probably stop rating cockpits on the Internet, even though you make good money. She'd probably <laughs> want like a more honorable career. <laughs> <laughs> the uh he did have you know Boutine LA you know that uh those girls it's like a um it's like a, a I don't know it's like a, a sort of like a Victoria's Secret but for young girl bikini like brand and he did have the hot one of the hottest girls from that brand you should check out this uh, fucking yeah and it was uh it was pretty nice damn dude so, I kind of want to see her what's the secret check her out. what's the secret dude uh, it's probably just personality more than anything Hundred percent. Yeah, Show but your personality, like dude. He would be shirtless with like a little bit of a belly. Let's see your belly. You get like, a little belly. <laughs> I mean, now, right now, it, it's uh, Modelo what? time. <laughs> <laughs> so no. it goes away after you finish the beer. I, think I could kind of, I could day. tell you as a bystander, it was. Um, he had like a sort of easygoing demeanor, where they would immediately feel comfortable, uh -huh. and there was a lot of eye contact and a lot of like. He was, he looked, he was smiley. He looked like he was having a good time and, and a lot of eye contact and a lot of like, um, it was a, 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 a kind of a connection, like almost like a friend would have with a girl, but sure. then you'd be face fucking him that night. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Friends don't usually face fuck each other. Yeah. I just want to point out right now. I just want to point out that we're going on about minute 10 of saltine still trying to get his. Yeah, it's, 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 it's He's doing it again. Should someone go check out Chase. You want to go check up on him? Chase, go check. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Chase, go check. Just check up and be like, Yo, knock, knock, that? knock. How are you? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Oh shit. No. Hey, hey. how you doing? Oh, oh, you're not getting her in there. I'm not fluffing you. Yeah. Dude, she's, Holly Day. Come on. She's out of your pay grade, you fuck. Yeah. Uh, pay my day rate. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe a cotton candy girl at crypto would fluff you. For a scenes 2K. <laughs> oh, you had to take a shit? He, he took a shit in there first. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Disgusting creature. <laughs> oh my god. That's bad. He's in there trying to get hard shit. He took That's a shit. Dude. He's That's trying to give bell. himself a hand blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's it's fucked up. But people might want to hear about Holly Day uh, and Dread, huh? I don't yeah. Well, I, just real quickly, while we're still on the subject of Jacob, what do you like about Kaush, Holly? Because I want to decode Kaush because I feel like <laughs> I feel like there's a lesson to be learned for young guys who want to get ass. Yeah, that's true. I, I I mean, I can tell you that it's it's he's. Well, I want Holly ahead, to tell ahead, us. You're not ahead. trying to fuck no, him. No, no, I'm not trying to fuck him, but Leah's trying I to get witnessed it. Yeah. <laughs> I know the full answer. Um, 100%. percent well, I didn't hear semi gay, but let's well, hear from Holly. That's crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Well, like you said, he's got a calm demeanor. Calm, yeah. Physically wise, I'm a fan of a porn stash. There we mm -hmm. go. He's got that going. You look quite Aussie. So Australia. Do, I mean, yeah. they yeah. play hockey, so uh, I mean, he does look like a hockey. They player, don't really sort of. play. Wait, they Australia? really play. Australia? Really Australians were hockey. It's a no. desert hockey. asshole. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get skate across the ocean. We together. don't play any fucking. Maybe There's field, no hockey over there. It's also hockey. that's another thing that it's an outlier. Baseball players are known to get a lot of pussy, but the maybe the top in the sport that people don't know about is hockey For players sure. are the biggest pussy fiends in all of sports. All right, noted. Drunk Leo, continue, Cash no, and Holly. Sorry. It's he's okay. he's got true. the chrome hearts on. That's a plus. Mm. You know, he's yeah. He's got the what on? You know, my he's, bracelet. He's decked. But out. is that all cheap? No. How much was the bracelet? I don't know. It's Chrome Hearts, probably five hundred bucks. All right, all right. That's so Season. you wouldn't be heartbroken if a guy with a gun stole it on the street. <laughs> no, I mean my rings are worth more, more for sure. How much are the rings worth? Uh, I don't know. They're all from my mom, but I mean they're so appraised probably like, mom. probably like five or five. Can you tell they're expensive, 5K? Holly? They look expensive, yeah. Because to me, like I can't tell. Like Leo, when you I and me tell. get mall rings, those look just as expensive as those. No, I mean these are real diamonds. You can tell by looking at them. If I showed you like a couple of, uh, if you looked at jewelry like a, a, a like on in a box right in front of you, you could immediately tell. It, like it, it would just takes. You've literally not been around jewelry at all. So mm, that's true. You're brave for wearing expensive jewelry downtown. Yeah, I mean, that's they don't true. come off. I never take them off. You're going to get Bruce Wayne. I carry a dude. knife on me all the time. You're going to get fucking Batman. It's like downtown. walking around with a fat ass in downtown. I mean, Same yeah. thing. Scary. Is yeah. Which is more valuable? 
like an $80,000 diamond or a big Holly Day ass? In the long term, the big ass. I think so. <laughs> In the short term, like uh, on a day rate, probably the, the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. How That's much money fair. could I'll you make? That. Holly, how much money do you think you could make in one day if nothing was off limits? Oh, God. If nothing was off limits? Yes. I'd go to Dubai and get my mouth shot in for Can we tell that story? Can we tell that Wait, story? what? Your mouth what? Shot, shot in. in. Oh, oh, oh. Holly oh, told oh. me this story, and I think everybody needs to hear it. It's I truly amazing. I haven't though. heard this story. Well, so the one of my friend going to Dubai. Yes. Yeah, so there's these guys that have, basically the men in Dubai that fly the women out have an obscene amount of money, and they yeah. are just pissing it out at that point. They have nothing else to live for. So they get American slatty Instagram models, and they fly them out. And they offer them obscene amounts of money to do the most disgusting things ever. So my friend got shout on um, by a group. There was like six of them. And no, like, I met this girl. On. No, there was six. So, of no, them? she only got shout on by one. But oh. the other ones just sat and watched in a couch and were just like jacking their dicks while the other one shat on her. She shed. I thought she had her in? mouth shit in. Yeah, in her mouth. In her mouth, oh. and she had to swallow to get eighty k. Yeah. 80, that's it? No, it was more than 80. It was uh, like, you said 80. It was 150 or something. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah. 150. <laughs> Double it. I wouldn't do it for 150. I heard uh, I heard you recently a chick 500, got- 500 though? 500K, yeah. I heard a chick uh, recently she? got flown out. She had her nose Hell broken. No. A dude no. just wanted to break a chick's nose for 100 grand. Yeah, and they do shit. Like, they make them sit in a ring like pigs naked, and they, like, throw, like, food at them and stuff. How much does that get you? I'd say probably 100k. I'd probably do that one. God should just kill us. I they would just, never do get shit in my mouth. No matter, even for 10 million, I wouldn't. I don't because I wouldn't There's live no... the same after. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I would feel so I'd down probably. about myself. What if like a Dino? Really you and I would get our mouth shit in for 10 million. What if a really powerful a woman? <laughs> Jacob, what if a really powerful woman? What if Oprah Winfrey wanted to take a shit on your face? <laughs> You're an asshole if you say no for 500 thousand. No, no chance. You're okay. good. Oprah shat on your face. You but I'm like also sewer like, after I'm two. not like super hungry for money. Like I don't need five hundred thousand. Mm. Not that bad. Like mm. yeah, yeah. Well, everybody could It'd use nice five hundred. He's a little young though. He's a little young. When he gets older, he might really need it. You know what I mean? Like it's, no, it depends on where you uh, are in life. Uh, Saltine would have no fucking limits. Saltine <laughs> would let one of the fucking Middle Eastern guys like fucking put a magic lamp up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Saltine, get out here! You're gonna have to rub a magic lamp to get a boner. Um, I want to see the erection. What? Getting close? Didn't he have the balls to say he wanted to do porn too? Oh yeah, no, he, he still did. does. He told me he, today he. This he, would be unacceptable. What did he do? I'm, I'm gonna read his text it's been messages. It's kind of twenty minutes. Up. Yeah, he'd be kicked off blacklisted. That saltine's funny, dude. Uh, he's uh, amazing. Uh, I really like him. He's fucking. Uh, just, the comedic angle with him is just this, the this is what he said. Like, this is what he said. This is what he said on on in the text. He goes, "I go, yeah, hell yeah, four forty five. Get ready to meet a hottie." And he goes, "Hell yeah. Hopefully she'll want to make content with me." I gotta get my bread up. I doubt OnlyFans models pay guys they film with, though, unless they're like well known. I don't. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Well, good thing Saltine is well known, so he's gonna get some money somewhere. <laughs> Holly, you absolutely should make content with Saltine, though. If you did like, a, if you did like a, a graffiti, a, like a graffiti grabbers, and I like the cover is him with a bottle. Ass. Yeah, yeah. But if you guys went out and you like tagged something up, and he was like, "Yeah, I want to draw." I want to draw a fucking John Wayne Gacy with a pink balloon. And you were like, I got something better you can draw. And you get him to draw a fucking cock on your ass, and then you just fuck him in an alley. That's amazing. That's a viral video right Danny, there. Danny, you think he's got that look, though, that, like, uh, what's that young guy with the big cock look with the... With, that he Jordi El Nino? Yeah, do you think he's got a sort of Jordi El Nino look? I think it's not the same, because Jordi El Nino's got the Dino look. Uh -huh. I think the thing is, he looks like... Every loser jerking off behind a keyboard. That's so true. He, he does. He looks like, I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he does. I'm sorry. That was fucked up. But yeah, so it, it really hit me that that is so accurate. He himself in there. It, it does fucking. Oh Sad. But he could he could be the guy delivering the pizza. He could be the tow truck driver who's like, oh, you want the car down? Sucky, sucky. He could be the refrigerator repairman. Oh, yeah. You want your eggs not to spoil? Suck my cock. He could be like the circus fucking juggler who gets fired, but he has to like fucking eat the circus master's pussy before, exactly. to get There's his fucking job. There's definitely a market back. for it. No, he's uh, yeah. I think he, he could be a, a, a he would do it for free. Yeah, for he could help you uh, in your profession for sure. I think one of the scenes I did for Brazos, um, they had me do it with one of the like their top talents. Who's this guy? He's like in his mid. 20s Oh, here he goes. But he looks twelve. Let's, he looks twelve. Let's see your boner. Yeah. 
All right, we won't look. Okay, I'm, I gotta see the cock, Danny, dude. He's, Danny has to Bring look, it on! Oh, shit. That thing is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Show Holly. Show Holly. Keep it away from me. Uh, Holly, take a look. Okay. Big reveal. Dude, that is a fat cock, dude. You are a That's fucker. That's a nice dick. You are a fucker, dude. What a waste. What a waste. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I had to flush it. Did you just? Okay, yeah, if you, if you didn't hear that, he said he 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 was trying to get hard in the bathroom, and then he just instantly came. You better wash so, your hands. Bro. That's not good for porn either. I was about to say I need to pee, but I don't want to go in there now. Oh, <laughs> you might get pregnant. You might get pregnant with an I undesirable might. child. I don't want that kid. No offense. Oh no. He's gonna have a big cock. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. The kid would have a big cock. That's see, that's a porn dick, Holly. It, yeah, you could do porn with that dick. A hundred percent. But you can't get hard and come immediately. You'd have no, to get the dick that, pump I, installed I, or something. I don't jump yeah. Up, so it's a different thing. For but me. like Holly, that if that was rock hard, yeah, that would be a fucking porn cock. Yeah. And this look too, dude. Like anything. Like go wash your hands. Fucking skate shop employee, janitor. Anything blue collar and grimy things. you could play. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we found something here. If if he really does want to do porn, I mean, right now he's he's sweeping at crypto, so it's only moving up. You know what I mean? You should do a porn where he's a crypto sweeper, and you're like a rich girl, and you're like littering on purpose. Just you're there because one of the NBA guys. You're, my litter, yeah. you're there because one of the NBA basketball players flew you out, and then okay. but, you, but you meet the sweeper, and you're like, wait a second, and you bang him in a bathroom, dude. You could, you guys. There's endless amount of content. You could it's literally, true. and me and me and Danny could facilitate that whole thing. You know what I mean, yeah. dude? That is a great plot. Like LeBron flew her out. Yeah, it's like a side piece, and he was gonna fuck her in a shipping crate off the coast of Long Beach. Dude, you yeah. guys wouldn't be a little upset that the one guy to bang her in the whole entire room is Seth. It, of course, I would be upset. <laughs> I, I hope that you bang her uh, before Seth does, but uh, <laughs> before Seth does. But uh, yeah, dude, it's fucking. It is what it is. I, I and then fucking pretty. LeBron James comes into the bathroom. They're fucking in. And LeBron James is like, motherfucker. And he puts the broom <laughs> handle up Saltine's <laughs> ass. Oh, my God, dude. And then he fucks, he fucks Holly Day with Saltine as a puppet. <laughs> uh, dude, she's That's never been done all natural, before. Jacob. Your style, dude. Yeah, that well, is my style. Jacob, would you. you fucking, would you rock out on that big ass, dog? <laughs> What do you think, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yes. I don't really know what, that, what kind of question that is. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. If y'all need me again, I could get hard again. Saltine. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Saltine, grab your mic. Grab your mic. Grab your mic, buddy. Saltine, grab your mic. You're not your headphones. Your mic. I want to talk to you. He just keeps talking. He just keeps really murmuring to himself without the mic. Saltine. What? I don't. Dude, who Saltine, the fuck are you, I want to say, Saltine, that. I'm done being mean. You're fucking classic, dude. You're comedy gold. You got a huge you. penis. You got a penis that everybody in this room would kill for, except for Dino, because this is about the same I size. I hear, I hear the same thing. Hey, uh, Here's a smaller. Care. Here's a smaller, Austin. Just accept it. And uh, saltines, you think so? Yeah, saltines got a pretty fucking meaty cock, dude. I mean, that thing was like <laughs> post ejaculation. Too. It is. Yeah. It was like post cum, just kind of hanging. It had probably lost seventy five yeah. percent of its blood flow, yeah. or twenty five percent rather. Yeah. And it was still big, dude. Yeah, you got to start fucking. You. Hey, if you want to do porn, which I think you could make a lot of money doing it, I think yeah, you I should. You guys talking about Jordy El Nino? Yeah, exactly. Next one. You know about Jordy? Next Jordy. But, but, yeah, bro, that guy's a classic. <laughs> he's like in all the old memes, bro. Like, How the fuck do you know about this guy? Dude, that guy looks like he's fucking like 17, 16, and he's like fucking these MILFs, bro. Like, of course I've seen him, bro. He's like a legend, dude. Jordy See, you El could Nino. be that, but you would Come be on. the white trash Jordy El Nino. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. He's I a mean, suave Mexican guy. Fine. You are, you look like you are from uh, the panhandle of Oklahoma. Okay. Well, I could be like Try. the surfer, like Jordy. You Ellen, see, you know, that like, you're, you're fucking, you're shooting too high. You'd be like, uh, oh, come suck my cock. <laughs> like some shit like that. No, no, you could be the apprentice chimney sweep, Jordy oh. El Nino. You, but like, you that's gotta, more you gotta, of a role I want it, I want it, I want you to do it in the radio voice. Like, uh, let's do something like, okay, okay. You walk into a room and you see a MILF and she's playing with her pussy. And I like let's give him a line. Give him a line to say to the milf in the radio voice. Well, how about this, Leo? We have the lovely Holly Day here. We what do. if they just improvise a scene? Oh, this would be great. So you have to come in, Saltine, as the um you are an electrician. Okay. Yeah. You're a young electrician and you don't really know shit. But you're gonna come in and you have to do a believable scene. 
you're here to repair that light. Holly Day really wants you to repair it because she's doing a shoot later and Real she needs bad. to look good. Okay. So you're going to come in, but you need to get on a microphone immediately so we can hear the dialogue. And you oh, have yeah. to use electrician jargon, okay? <laughs> yeah. You have to be anything. believable. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's starting me? Yeah. I'll start. Yeah. You walk in. All right. Hello. Hello there. I hear you need a light fixed. Yeah. Look, there's too much confidence for his entry. You've got a you hot gotta be, voice okay, for an okay, electric. You gotta be yeah, nervous. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You, gotta, you gotta be you nervous. Gotta be nervous. Yeah, you gotta be Jordi El Nino type kind of, right, you know, right, like right, you gotta right, you gotta right, like right. Know. I can't believe you're my stepmom. What is going you on here? Do, do you want know me to do your the niche, voice? bro. Know your niche. You want me to do my voice? You have to do the voice, okay, but you okay. still have to but play it. I got you. you know, yeah. I I think maybe lose the voice. I think maybe do the pimply electrician voice. Whatever you do. You bring the voice out once you stop fucking. There we go. There we go, yeah. Yeah, when I'm like, are you ready for this monster cock? <laughs> like some shit like that. Um, all right. Yeah. We're going to start off. Okay. Hello. Uh, hey, Um, is this uh, th 304? Yeah, uh, it's on the door. Oh, I, I didn't see it. Um, I, You need a light fix, right? Yeah, it's broken. I need it fixed real uh, bad. Uh, okay. Um, c Could you show me where the light is? Yeah, it's right up here. Okay. Don't look. Hey, jack off! You forgot your toolbox. I'm his. Uh, uh, I'm his instructor. <laughs> oh, uh, it, it looks like I forgot my tool toolbox. Um, I can go get it if you want. That might be helpful for uh, fixing the light. Yeah. Uh, you were supposed to be like, well, you, don't you have that? <laughs> yeah, I, I some was tool thinking on that you too. or some hey, shit. shit yeah. Did you uh, wash your hands after your uh, last shit? <laughs> I told you, if you're gonna work on my site, you gotta keep your hands clean. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? It has nothing to do with this. All right, all right. Cock blocking him. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll, I'll go get my tool for you. Um, and wash your hands. And I'll wash my hands. Um, Perfect. I love right. an electrician with right. clean hands and a big tool. Oh, you said you like a big tool. I love a big tool. Yeah. Well, I, I happen to have my big tool with me. <laughs> Too bad you can never get I it hard. It, <laughs> it might take me a while to get it hard. It's okay, to, I can you wait. If you have a couple rhinos with you, or <laughs> some of that honey, you know? Um, you guys don't know about that. Honey. How do you know? I know about the honey. We we tr we got some on a shoot one yeah. time. That yeah. works? Uh, No, I've never used it, but I saw a meme where a guy gives it to his kid, and that was fucked up. So <laughs> yeah, he was up. like, hey, try the honey. And There's the kid honey was like, that makes mm, your yum. dick hard, I guess. Yeah, so... Weird. But uh, all right, let's go back to this. Um, okay. All right. Well, you say you like big tools. I do. I just said that. Yeah. I'm going to say it again. Are you ready for my big tool? Yeah. Let me see it. All right. This is my zipper <laughs> opening. All right. Wow, that's a big tool. Hey, 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 yeah. Excuse me, sugar that's tits. I got to say like one thing. Hey, listen, jackass. Hey. I know you're spending all your pay on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I had to front you your last two paychecks a week in advance. Motherfucker, if you blow this one, I'm going to kick you out of the profession. Yeah, sorry. That was my boss calling. Uh, <laughs> kind of owe him a little bit of money. Uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit. Um, let's get back to this. Uh, <laughs> all right. Ugh. You like this big tool, don't you? Yeah, I love that big tool. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You want me to shove this tool in that bolt or nut or bolt, whatever? You want me to <laughs> shove this bolt in that nut? <laughs> nice I dialogue, nuts. dumbass. Bro. <laughs> Fuck, man! I need a script, bro. I don't. Honestly, improv. I I really liked uh, I really liked at the beginning where where you uh, you were kind of like you so played dumb. a good very like. You were like worried, yeah, and then you yeah. did. I liked it that you you asked if it was the right room number. There you was said a lot it was of on range. the door. Yeah, it was yeah. good. It was yeah. good. It was good. Yeah, I think you got. It could potential. have been a little more like, uh, uh, yeah, like some shit like that. But that it wasn't bad, Saltan. It wasn't Thank bad. You. You're gonna be a barista. I could see him as one of those hipster oh. baristas at an over an overpriced coffee place, mm, and he's yeah. like, uh, so uh, I added an experimental type of dairy to your cappuccino. <laughs> oh, shit. hope you don't it's mind. Like experimental coffee bean. It's Gets really you, creamy. Uh, no, you fucking asshole. Yeah, creamy. See what I did? The cream was like your jizz. Oh. And the coffee bean doesn't even make sense. Now he's a retarded sorry. barista. <laughs> I am a retarded barista, I guess. I've been snorting lines of espresso since I started working here. 
Okay. Well, Saltine, what do you act? Do you really want to be a porn star, though? Because everybody that we've ever turned into a porn star, they've quickly ruined their own life, right? <laughs> quickly after. So. Well, Inla and Iggy is still hanging on. Iggy's good, but he's right. dating the girl that he did the porn. That's with, true. So it's different. A little different, and she was really on board. You know, so King Croc they is made the some money with the OnlyFans too, so that was a thing. But who else am I thinking? I mean, King <laughs> Croc, basically Swolby One Kenobi and Nutsack. Cigar, Cigar guy, Cigar guy, Cigar guy. Uh, in a way, Rat Dick Ralph, because Slightly. he started selling dick pics. He started. He True. became a quasi Whoa. OnlyFans kind of porn. Yeah, he did. There was a jerk off video that was circulating. So I saw. And it. In said a way, the N-word. that's another. Yeah, request. that's another thing. Yeah, yeah. that was another <laughs> thing. So in a way, Rat Dick also went into porn and destroyed his that's life crazy. a little bit. So. Yeah. So I mean, are you? Can you handle? Handle it, dog. I mean, no. I mean, you think I, he can handle it? I, yeah, probably not. I really friend. don't care. Like, okay, like, I, mean, I don't think it this. would help his life in any way, shape, or form. Bro, well, if there's money involved, maybe. Yeah, but right? it won't be long term, man. Fine. No, you're right. Yeah, I mean, but, it, it, I what mean, if he has an only? Uh, okay, that's the thing. If you want to do porn, then you got to know that that's well, going to be your profession for ten years. I'm open to doing porn as like a, like. Part time thing, you know, like <laughs> like a side gig, you know. I I don't really want to be free sex. I don't want to be Is as you could tell. I want to be a radio, like like some shit like that, you know. I, All right, I but wait, do what if your mom like, sees the porn, which she will, no doubt. It, but well, what about his mom? I, but what about his I Tibetan don't care coworker? About my mother, you know, you know? The, the lady, the lady Agatha, who's like fifty eight years old. She's yeah. gonna judge you. Well, here's the thing. What about you know yeah. uh, my mother? Um, He's closer with his dad. Let's just okay, say. okay. So he meant to say his dad or your parents. He meant my dad well, hated the porn too. Well, th- listen, what are you? gonna do when your dad sees the porn i mean i don't think he would really care honestly um you I should ask him he's quite the player he um really he had a son he never knew about in brazil who was like 18 once he found out and uh yeah he, he slangs i'll hmm. say that does he have a big dick like you um I don't, I don't really know Probably. i know it works Danny. You you've done the research right i think yeah. so is that how yeah, it works well, here's That's the thing i did find magnums in his drawer one time so <laughs> me and me and him <laughs> use the <laughs> same same size condom mm. so you know magnums huh? kind of twinning um yeah so okay. he does have a big cock i think i don't know well yeah i mean you're already fucking have aspirations to work professionally with sausage. You might as well just do porn. Yeah. I know. Like a hot dog <laughs> reference. But I mean, right. What you're doing right now is as degrading as any sort of porn work. Yeah. I mean, you are on hands and knees picking up straw wrappers outside of fucking Lakers games. Dude. Well, not really, but yeah, that's basically <laughs> it's kind of like doing. underground, like a, a, when I want to do a double, I will sweep, but I, I don't really sweep. You go often. home used and dirty. So. You do. Not really, actually. So what do you I mostly actually, do? I wear, you know, um, like, you got to wear a button-up, some black pants and stuff, and then usually I'll just, like, give people their alcohol is usually what I do. Or, like, sometimes food, but, like, that's it. I don't go home dirty. Where'd like, you grow up? Um, California for a good amount of my life. L.A.? Uh, yeah, all around L.A., Valley area, but... Do you ever uh, see hotties I, you knew from school? And are you ever, like, super, like, ah, oh, fuck, they're going to see that I'm a loser? Uh, mm-hmm. no, not actually. Um, you called him a loser. I, I actually, I used to do the same shit. I, I, I was at that stage, so I can speak from experience. It's like a black he, guy using the N bomb. I can do thing. it. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't go to high school out here in California, so okay. I went to high school in Georgia. Um, and I also wouldn't even care if I did go to high school out here. I mean, the fuck, like, I'm just living life, enjoying myself. Why the fuck would I give a fuck what anybody else Gotta stay positive. How old are you, Salty? 22. Oh, he's young as fuck. Dude. Yeah. You can be a crypto bitch. Yeah, no, nah. it's a it's a good time. I mean, having a job at your age is is really good for character growth and I think uh in general you're doing the right things. Just is, is just pay Jacob some rent, dude, if you can. <laughs> pay well, for your I'm, car I'm next time. Going to try to very soon and well, not try I will. But um mm. yeah, I don't know. Do you think uh, you were just going to fucking get one over on Toyota, not paying your car bill? <laughs> no, I mean, um I didn't think that. I thought I would have been able to pay it at some point, but uh, like they start, like I said, they started to pay me so little. Like I was making an egregious amount off of that shit, which I was like, I myself was mind blown. How egregious means a lot. Yeah, a lot. I was making at first. A lot. Yeah, at first. Okay. And sure. then later on, I was making jack shit, you know. And like towards the end, right before my car got repoed, like how much were you making? I, before now how much were you making during the dry spell oh the dry spell it varied like some months it would be like 
it usually be under five grand a month, which Damn. was like very odd. You were working. I mean, wait, like, wait, wait. That's but the, uh, you couldn't I would, pay for I your would, fucking two hundred dollar car payment with five grand no, a listen, month. Listen, listen, not two hundred. I had because I got the car with no cosign, nothing. Um, it was like very marked up. I had to pay um, every two weeks, so three hundred every two weeks. So it's like six hundred for the car, and then another three hundred for insurance, depending. Uh, sometimes like. It would change, like um, okay. So we have like, forty one hundred dollars yeah. left out of that budget. Yeah, and then um, I don't know, like you got like, gas and stuff. Sometimes, like usually, Uber would cover you on gas after every two weeks. I would usually get an extra one thousand, or the lowest I would usually get was like five hundred every two weeks. It started becoming like fifty dollars to a hundred every two weeks extra. Okay, so maybe that co- maybe gas cost you an extra five hundred. Now uh, we're at I like mean, what thirty six hundred dollars left. I mean, not really, bro. Like, I, like I said, I was making towards the end under five grand a month. Like, you know, before I was making wow. over five grand. A month. You when like, I he's like out of a Dickens Joe's, novel, I made two thousand yeah. dollars a month. Yeah, that's a little lower. No, nah, I mean, like what I'm saying is, like, yeah. I was probably oh, yeah. making. My I don't know the exact here. number, but Go. probably. Uh, five grand is a very good. Amount. That's way more than that's, what, bro, that's what like a college professor but makes their first year. I I don't. <laughs> I had rent twelve hundred that okay. you didn't pay. Well, I was paying, and then no, I, was, I was actually was for, he Jacob? For he did year. for like six ha- months, yeah. Yeah, and then the and then rest, do that math well, times the, another six well, and how much he owes me plus. Like, well, <laughs> then the rest I I paid some of it actually. I think I paid like what a month. Or he still two. has the audacity to ask me for loans, bro. I don't even make no, that I, much I did money. Once. <laughs> I asked him once, and yeah, like I I, I asked for like. A hundred, but you sent me like fifty or something like that. But yeah, I, I did need some money for food. Recently, How can you get your car back then? What do you got to do to get your car it's back? Gone. I just, it's gone. No, it's not that fully piece of gone. Shit. Really? So the thing is, is I it was still, a piece of shit. Car I still have too. the loan, right? <laughs> Fucking red. Yeah, and you shit. got the loan. It, it was right? a dope car. It was like a no, 2016 no. Mazda CX-5. Had like 195,000 miles on it. It was red. You well, should, uh, I, you should I, spray paint I Putin with a clown nose on it so they know who it really belongs to. I put a hundred thousand on the car though. How much do you owe on it? Um, in one year, you put a hundred grand. Like, wait a yeah, second. Pull up your credit score right yeah. now. Pull up your credit score. No, I'm not doing that. You're not on mic, Chase. You're not on mic. What, what were you? Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Right I before s- your car got I towed, what did you spend money on? Uh, tires. He brought brand new tires three days before his car got yeah. repossessed. Nice. Yeah. Toyota's gonna be psyched about that shit. I don't even remember. Uh, Mazda, bro. Mazda, right? Like, yeah. See, so it was some bullshit. You're still paying three hundred. Six hundred dollars a month on a car no, that has two hundred thousand miles on it? No, not not anymore. I'm not paying that. But you he, were. He stopped you were. a while ago. Bro. But yeah, I, you can uh, get like yeah. you can get like a Mercedes, like an eighty thousand no, dollars Mercedes is six hundred. You get a Tesla, bro. Or he signed the lease that your last six listen, months are free on it. Listen, I <laughs> it, it was it had like eighty thousand on it when I got it, and it, it's a nice car. It's an SUV, a Mazda, like fairly new, twenty sixteen. Um, he and spent a hundred thousand dollars on a used Mazda. He no, spent a hundred thousand dollars. That many miles. Oh, yeah. miles. I know you guys go by kilometers. Yeah, yeah. sorry. No problem. Sorry, I said a hundred thousand miles. I put on the car in a year, which is crazy. Um, but I I was able to trade it in if I want, which I could still if I pay off what I owe, I could still get like a brand new car from them, like as if I wanted to trade in the car. But if I just pay off what I owe at some point, not you, anymore. They can give me now that your credit card. score is two fifty, they're not going to give you anything. Yeah, no, you I don't know like why because it's because it's one of those dealers that they actually need you to pay. They they sell to illegal people. Mm. Okay, like you're they, damn near illegal. They yeah. they they, <laughs> they will give a car loan to somebody that doesn't even have a license in the U.S. I'm so surprised so you still. They are you going to pay for the? Are you going to finish paying at the some car? point? I want to pay for how it, much you have left, on and it? then I'll get a brand new car. From it, I want to. That that kind of language reminds Hopefully. me of King Croc telling you me know. that he wanted to pay down his debt. Yeah. King Croc, you're the homie. I want you to get your well, shit back together. Want, yeah. But King Croc wanted to pay it, off it his debt. It was on debt. the Patreon. No, uh, there's want. a good episode with King Croc, the most yeah. uh, recent one. He does. He's back with his mom. So this is good news. They're uh, yeah, they're having getting... sex. She he's out of the doghouse. <laughs> oh my God. It's great. Now he's doing a lot better. So I'm I'm happy no, to see man. that. But uh, a lot of you guys probably. Uh, not a lot, but I'll say. Do you have a message for the audience right now? Tell them. You know, guys, <laughs> never give up. All right, <laughs> these guys they like to hate on people that not uh, are down you, bad. Dude. But uh, if you ever down bad, never give up. It, it is it, not it, your last hope. You can keep trying, of course, and trying and trying, guys, and stick it out for the team, for the yeah. world, everybody that loves you, and. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> there you go. There's yeah. so many examples of people. Don't, yeah, uh, this is don't nothing. hate the artist, hate the toy. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of uh, a growth in your future. You're only 22. It's uh, not a big deal what's going mm -hmm. on in your life, yeah. but uh, you can do it. You can pay off the loans. You can you can oh, get yeah. your life back it's, together. Your credit score uh, it it re I, I believe it resets every seven years. So. <laughs> And you'll be good yes, by the time you're thirty. I gotta pay full cash for a lot of things for a while. That's okay, you know. But hey, it just means I worked hard. If I pay cash, it is what know. it is. Yeah. Start using that dick, dude. Start making some money with that thing. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna get you on a shoot, dude. We have to do a saltine graffiti video. Hey, the saltine graffiti good. video sounds <laughs> unbelievable. And we're gonna get those stencils made way better than anything. We we're, we'll get real artists to make really Ooh. funny dictator stencils. That'd be great. And we will put them up all over Los Angeles. It's gonna be fucking we nice. Put like a. Uh... A silhouette of my cock on a dictator's face or some shit, like as a nose or whatever. <laughs> well, Your signature yeah. should be maybe a penis, though. That'd be dick print. Yeah, yeah, dick print. It looks like I slap my dick on walls. Look at that. Yeah, something like that. Why not? It's my well, signature. Leo, do we have any ads today? We gonna wrap it up or no it's ads? Good We're wrapping it up. Check out the Patreon. It's been uh, wildly interesting recently and very funny and awesome it's been growing so check it out you'll the see Leo my Danny tits show. on it that's oh, right oh yeah. really yeah. yeah i'll go subscribe i might have to hey. subscribe hey. yeah so uh, uh holly, holly you day probably flash saltine for his uh plug whatever his plug whatever you want uh, as well holly so if you want to see my tits patreon or xxx holly day Anything what about dad else? ass? Can I see dad ass there? You can see dad, <laughs> dad ass on XXX nice. Holiday on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, check that out. She's uh, she's a friend of the channel, and she's uh, in a very, I think it's a classic video coming up. Do you like the fucking Bakersfield video, baby? The Bakersfield video is classic, dude. Unbelievable. I I uh, teared up laughing with that that the tobacco guy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dude. Our boy Trey Cyrus likes it too, dude. Yeah, Trey I Cyrus loves it. Miley, Miley Cyrus's Miley. brother. Miley's, Miley's Miley Cyrus. I know. I was trying to find her. Obsessed Instagram. Obsessed with us. It. Miley well, Cyrus's Instagram brother. Yeah, Holiday. brother, brother. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, Holiday's, Holiday's the one who pointed out that he was a fan. Sorry guys. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I have no. It's okay. Another. We're we're good, guys. Spin the Leo and Danny show. Leo and Danny show. It's been the Leo and Danny Show. <laughs>